sorry about that, babe. Chapter 4, Revolt in the Republic of Espinia. Well, it doesn't sound very cheery. But the music does. <laughs> Lord Symbios and Sir Don Terrace, don't you think that uh, they should be back by now, Grace? It would seem so, but if you think about it, there have been some major national incidences occurring, such as the defection of the once trusted General Edmund. And the beasts invading from the north must also be a topic of discussion. The nation's economy is worse than we thought. The Bear Soul Army is in Aspia and supposedly demanding more aid. That's Brutus' territory. He's second in command to only the King Benetron. I can't believe he would use force to demand an increase in aid. In any case, I don't see how we can ignore the Bear Soul Army. I wonder what they're going to do. We return from risking life and limb and the capital's a mess like this. It's quite sad. I guess a lot has happened since I left the Symbios army. That's certainly true, Zero. We've been through some truly horrible things. We even battled a Vandal. A Vandal? You mean a Vandal from the Mists and Legends? He possessed the terrifying powers. Thinking back, I wonder how we were able to come out victorious. Khan, you look like something's bothering you. What's the matter? Just thinking, if we had to battle another Vandal, we wouldn't be able to win. It worries me. What do you mean we wouldn't be able to win? We seem stronger than ever. When we fought the Vandal, the Evelsom statues still regulated and contained the terrifying dark power. So you're saying now that the Evelsom statue has been destroyed, we couldn't defeat a Vandal? I also believe the problem with the beasts in the north is due to the destruction of the Evelsom statue. Regarding dark power, I'm sure I heard of it before. It's called Dark or Evil Power. It's the force opposing Ebelson. That's true, then the Bulls and Monks will become more powerful due to the loss of the Ebelson statue. Uh, so now they'll be able to use their full power? That's not good. Okay, I'm lost. What are you talking about? What's this Ebelson statue? Please pay attention, Zero. The Median army could be very well heading right into danger. What? What do you mean? You're saying Prince Median is heading into danger? Oh, this music is sick as fuck. Oh shit, this goes hard. How hard does it go? Fat hard. <laughs> hmm, I could hardly believe what's happened. It's such a complete shock. Especially the story about Edmund. I can't believe such a brave and honest man would. Well, I believe that Edmund, in his own way, thought he was helping the Republic. I should have seen it. The Republic lost many warriors in trying to return to uh, the king. At least Aspia kept the peace through it all. Is the current state of Espinia worth saving? We maintain the status quo, but do we prosper? From the beginning, Espinia was never a fertile land, and with this weather, we can't afford to give aid. Brutus's land, Bear Soul, though, demands tribute from their neighbors. We paid for their misfortunes. It doesn't help that Brutus is the vice chairman of the assembly. Bear Soul has the power to take whatever they want. Espinia has never been rich. Can we afford to continue giving in to these demands? I'm a soldier, not a politician, but the resources Espinia does have should be shared among the Republic's people. Bathard, you and Edmund are both military men, yet your ideals differ greatly. Bathard, I ask you, with the Barisol army camped at, our, uh, camped at our south gate, what choice do we have? They've penetrated the outer wall, but the inner wall is secure. We can afford to wait them out. Fafhard, have your wits dulled since I saw you last? Your advice almost borders on... Any new deployments? Has the Barisol army moved against us? Did the Barisol army break camp? Tell us quickly. It appears one unit from the Barisol army has broken the siege and is headed for the... For storage? Fafar, does this change your opinion? Should we still ignore the Barisol army? Storage holds Espinia's provisions in our railway. Symbios, I'm grateful to you for offering uh, your army support, but... You hesitate, Benetron? It would be catastrophic if storage were taken. The Symbios army must be sent to protect it. I don't like this. Symbios must go to Flagar to rebuild his army, however.
shouldn't be difficult to stop one unit. A brief show of force should send them running. Lots of head shaking, what the fuck? <laughs> Very well, I thank you, Symbios. However, do not chase him too far. Return to Flagard as soon as you can. Has to be a castle. Okay, so like, I'm trying to save. <laughs> if I can. Why does Benetrum hesitate? The stockpile and storage is a lifeline of all of Espinia. Oops. Sorry, Symbios, but I don't care to fight a starving man for a crust of bread. Oops. If I could change your mind, I still think you should leave uh, now for Fulgard where your father Conrad awaits. Oh, man, whole lot going on. I always make the mistake of starting the next chapter. Serious. Alright. <clears throat> anyway. Like, there's a lot I want to explore here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing there. <laughs> but, uh, my judgment is telling me to leave and come back later, because I really... Braff, hold on, aren't you Lord Symbios? I heard you of your heroism on the way back from the peace conference was extraordinary. You're gaining quite a reputation. They say you possess a rare talent as commander. If that's the reputation of Lord Symbios, then I am even more honored to serve under his command. I wish Sir Donteris, the hero of all of Espinia, would say the same about me. What the fuck are you, dude? Is it true you're moving to counter-attack the Barisal army? Yes, I'm honorable. I'm just not gonna fucking lie about it. You just returned from one battle with the Empire, and now you're off again. In any case, I wish you luck. Hmm. By the way, my name is Brath. I'm Fafhard's son. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Why do I get this weird feeling that, uh, Brath's gonna end up being bad or something? Like he has, like, a, a turn. A face turn, if you will. Alright. Your boy's just trying to, uh, get to the town here. Please don't battle me. Oh, the birds! What are you two doing here? Khan has reason to believe the Median army is in danger. Oh yeah, I knew about that. It's the Ebelsome statue. We weren't fully aware of the effects of its power. Ebelsome statue? I don't think I understand. Please explain. Do we need to explain it? We already fucking know. Uh, the statue, besides guarding Ebelsome Village, kept evil beasts away and dark forces in check. The Great Wall is said to have amplified the divine protection. That's why more creatures are appearing now. Unless there's some, like, crazy dialogue coming up, this part could have been completely cut out. They could have done, like, a dot 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 or a fade out or something like that. Like, we already heard about all this shit. The Great Wall held such power over beasts. If this is true, what are the dark forces it held in check? Take, for example, the Vandal you fought. You were victorious because the statue was protecting you by abating the Vandal's powers. Hmm. Also, the power of the Bulls and Priests, now that the protection is no more, they can exercise their true power. If the Median army heads for Baran, they might intercept the Bulls and Priests. In fact, I'm quite sure they would. If they engage the Bulls and Sect with their heightened powers, it would be disastrous. Someone must warn them. The orb that Khan carries is apparently an effective weapon against the Bulls and Forces. I could take it to them. Is he leaving again? I was certain he would agree. I will leave for Baron right away. Uh, I guess we're not getting him. Are we going to intercept the Barisal army to protect the storage? I shall return to headquarters and tell everyone to be ready to mobilize for the mission. This has got to be connected to the town, right? Yes, sounds like town music. Alright, where's the church? <laughs> where's the fucking church? 
There it is. I did want to dish around some items, though, real quick. Items. Give. Alright, so I wanted to give... The white ring. Yes, we still have to promote. I'll promote him now. In the Battle Bracer. Okay, so is that the one that like we have already? Yeah, we already have a lot of Battle Bracers, that's right. Silver Ring, Swift Boots. I guess we can give it to Khan. Sure. Alright, let's promote Khan and Symbios. Everybody's revived, right? Yep. Okay, cool. And Symbios will actually be pretty good now with that ring. That ring's gonna do some good shit. And now Khan. Awesome. Uh, our entire party is promoted. Let's quickly equip Symbios so we don't forget. Nice new armor, by the way. Alright. Wear accessory. Um, ba 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 ba. So the only thing that goes down is luck. That's fine by me. Much better. Alright, cool. Wow, so that was a very cool battle. Lots of story. Lots going on. But before we get into any kind of intercepting forces and catching up with fucking... Uh, What's-his-face Median's army, we gotta do a lot of exploration in uh, the town of Aspia, as well as the castle. Lots of people to talk to. I'm sure lots of hidden items to find, and so on and so forth, so let's get that started. Alright, now we could freely explore the town and the castle of Aspia. <clears throat> Probably gonna be here for a little bit. Uh, lots of people to talk to. Lots of things to look for, apparently. Tons of uh, treasures to find. Also, for the record, I'm going to be back on a more normal recording schedule. Uh, we are firmly planted into the new year, and I finally get my mornings back with no interruptions, which gives me roughly four to five hours each uh, weekday week to record in the morning before work. Really kind of irrelevant to you guys, but me speaking about it out loud makes me happy. So let's get, let's get cracking. With the reports of Edmund's death, the chances for my son's survival must be slim. Still, I will pray for him. My son marched with General Edmund on the Saraban expedition. He is yet to return. I pray for his safety and I'll never give up hope. The priest says evil forces are spreading. I wonder if that has anything to do with the war. At my age, I'm more concerned with the future of young people than my own safety, so I come here to pray. Alright. So... We had a, a bunch of dialogue... <clears throat> recently with various characters and NPCs alike. Uh, obviously we have a lot to do, but there's also a lot to explore. We need to go back to the castle as well. I guess there was a Mithril in there. Once the Empire and Republic were one country, since the war, uh, we have kept peace with the Empire. Now they've invaded Barond, and we may be next. We must stop them. Why would they start trouble? I don't know why, but everyone likes to push me around. All I want to do is just stand here. Don't you ever push me. What happens if I push her? Hey, hope you're not some pervert. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the? Please don't push me. Uh, we're stuck? Do you give me something? Why do I always get pushed her? Okay, I guess it's just like a joke. <clears throat> Our walls have never been breached by force. When the Barisol army broke through, they used treachery. We opened the gate to discuss a treaty, and they stormed the gate. What an underhanded trick. You see the woman standing stiffly in the middle of town? Well, she stands there for no reason at all. Now everyone teases her and pushes her around. Someone's gonna push her too far. Then watch out! That woman in the middle of town must be very lonely. She just lets people push her- what the fuck? She must be crazy from being alone and starve for attention. Why- they're making like a really big deal about this lady. But I'm pretty sure that I pushed her enough and... 
exhausted all of her dialogue. A new railroad line uh, goes to storage, a town southwest of here. Many people have never see even seen a train. Because Sarabon runs the station, the peasants have only been able to look at it, not ride it. Did I talk to this guy yet? I don't think I did. Aspia is the capital of Aspinia. After the War of Independence, an outer wall was built. It gives us two city walls, an inner and an outer. We can feel pretty safe in times of war. Alright. Should probably start looking for shit, right? Got a small mithril. Let's go. Uh, it seems like the rest of the hidden items in the town are in the buildings. To my knowledge. But I'm going to take a quick look around here. I'm actually going to go back to the... Uh... Did I look at these crates? I don't think I did. Oof, camera angles are a little tough here. There we go. Large mithril. I gotta dump all that mithril. I should probably do that pretty, uh... Soon, actually. Especially if we're gonna go into a shop. Let's push this, uh, lady around a little bit more. Alright, definitely looks like we've exhausted all the options. Okay. Alright, let's check this place out first. God damn, this music's fucking banging. I love it. It is shut tight. Ah, oh, there's a cockroach. It's still kind of hard to get used to the controls when it comes to, like, searching these things, like... Alright. Just a little bit tough. Who's this guy? Horst, are you recruiting soldiers for your force? Uh... I don't know. I gotta think this one over. Hmm. I'm gonna go with... Yes? I thought so. Why not sign me up? Your army looks like a tough outfit, and that suits me just fine. So, sir, won't you let me join? Sure. Good. I'd be glad to transfer to the Symbios army. Oh, cool. wonder what this guy's stats are gonna be. Empire, beware. The mighty power of Horus is coming for you. So, I'm assuming a gladiator? Many of our people died because of the Empire. If we don't strike back, the Empire strikes back, their deaths will be for nothing. Tybalt and the other generals. How many more conferences do they need? Nothing there. I don't know if I really want to talk to everybody. Talk to a couple. When we fled Sarabond, General Varlant was acting strange. We couldn't believe it. Combat was the essence of his life. I still can't forget the awful day the Empire invaded Barand, when those terrifying Imperial battleships came into view. We all lost our will to fight. Famous warriors like General Varlant and General Edmund have died, yet we common soldiers survived. The tip for surviving battles is to hide behind the other soldiers until it's over. <laughs> Try it sometime. Alright, that's kind of funny. Oh, there we go. There was an instance of me trying to search this fucking thing and I talked to him by accident. The survivors of the Varlan army join the Tybal army. In any case, my guess is we don't stand much of a chance when we face the Empire again. I ended up basically talking to everybody anyway, whatever. We are the remnants of the Baron garrison. We follow General Tybalt and are stationed here for a moment. Well, we got a new force member. I think we have to swap somebody out for him though, so we'll have to truly investigate the statistics. <clears throat> you know? I heard there were battles with the Empire again. How close? Has the Empire come with their army? Uh, relations with the Empire were so good, how could they deteriorate so quickly? The conference King Benetron went to was supposed to be a treaty signing. I suspect it was a trap. Also, I apologize guys if I sound like I'm out of breath. <clears throat> I'm like super congested tonight. Uh, the family's had a cold recently. I didn't catch it, but occasionally, I think I caught like remnants of it, so occasionally I'm a little bit more congested, and it kind of sounds like I'm wheezing. <clears throat> it's because I am fucking clogged up. We got five coins there. 
Lord Conrad, Hero of the Republic. Lord Conrad was the main force behind the Republic's birth. He enjoyed his high status within the Empire, yet he led the Republic Independence Movement. He is truly a hero. Good to note. Looks like a bunch of scholars here. We built this Republic as one people. In time, we've lost sight of our ideals, and the Republic suffers. When the army became crucial to our defense, we forgot that military serves us, not the other way around. The breakdown between the people and the military is what started our problems. The people produce the wealth, all the army does is spend it. We must rise above such petty concerns. It's a gamble to order from a blacksmith. They're great craftsmen, but you never know what they'll make. Oh, that's basically probably, uh... Regarding our Mithril, right? I found a healing drop, man. I guess that's okay. Doesn't it make you think that that's talking about the Mithril? Because in Shining Force 2, you never know what they're gonna fucking make. <clears throat> Probably the same shit in this game as well. Alright, so the church, we've investigated there and there. Couple more buildings to search. The people of the Republic have great respect for King Benetrom and Lord Conrad. They defend the Republican ideals. Not all leaders think that way. Some become obsessed with power and resent the people. Oops. Oh my god. I got caught up on the old lady's leg and I got kicked out of the fucking house, basically. Hey. Your homeland, Flagard, has a success successful harvest this year despite the bad weather. Many lords are jealous of that. Unlike your people, they didn't think ahead and protect the land. Everyone should have done the same. Queen Worm in Swampland. A terrifying Queen Worm. Oh shit. Lives in the swamp between Aspia and Headland. Will probably be, uh... Something's there. Uh, I didn't fucking read it. Or there seemed to be. There we go. Sometimes the uh, dialogue is like tricky to deal with. TBH. Um. I look here. All right, I don't think there's anything in here. <clears throat> yep, I believe I searched everything. Uh, I'm even more congested now because I just sneezed. Like a minute ago. I tell you what. I tell you what. Alright. This looks like it might be like an item shop or some shit. Indeed. Probably not the best time to come here though. <clears throat> TBH. Oh my god. Just fucking look at- stop it! I wanna look at this thing! Alright, nothing was there anyway, but still. Oh my goodness. There we go. It is shut tight. Same one. They're all shut tight, I guess? Hmm. Well, all the- Apparently there's supposed to be a Mithril behind the item shop. Is there an actual... Although maybe there's an item shop, right? This is the weapon shop. Um... I might sell that ring? Question mark? Although... The new guy... Wait, do I have any control over the new guy? Hmm, he might be one of those, like... NPC characters, right? Because he's not even showing up here. That would be interesting. I probably can't control him then. Either way. Ooh, Battle Blade. That looks pretty sick. It's covered in blood and shit. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Let's sell... the ring. That's fine. I need I need the gold anyway. 
I might actually have to go back to the headquarters soon and start, uh... Dumping some extra shit for some gold. Stuff's expensive in this game, dude. Yes, it's fine. Um, I could probably give this to Elder? No? Okay. Elder must be a... Ooh, Power Spear. Ooh, heavy Halberd, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, but, like, also... Ah, uh, man. The spears suck in this game, dude. They really do. <clears throat> They're, like, such a downgrade. It's, like, sad. I'm a big spear guy in the first two Shining Forces, but they're just not that good in this game. Ah, <sighs> always fucking over-encumbered here. Dude, fucking shit. So... Yeah, I definitely don't need this. Antidotes just take up space, honestly. And I gotta dump the Mithril as well. I mean, that's on me. Alright. Everybody good? Everybody good, okay. Let's go fucking bankrupt. Oops. No, 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 no. Damn, I really didn't expect, uh... What's her face to be stronger? Sybil. Hard to believe. But we are slowly, <clears throat> or rather quickly, to be honest, uh, running out of gold. The flail is a pretty big upgrade. For Obright. So that's good. Here, Iron Glove. Are any of these better? Like, I can never tell because the prices are all over the place. Although I will say, yeah, okay, thank goodness, because crit plus five and all that counter shit seems pretty nice. Uh, what else, what else? Is that already equipped to con? Yeah, I guess so. Robin Arrow, Great Shell, Silver Wing, I think is... Oh, I can't even afford this shit, dude. Hold up. Hold up! Let's see. What does Hayward have? I feel like the fucking thing has to be... Oh, I still don't have enough, do I? For the Robin Arrow, I don't think I do. I'm gonna sell a healing drop, I guess. Was it 4,800, was it? That's a lot, actually. God damn, dude. I'll sell another healing drop. <laughs> <clears throat> Anything else that seems to be... <sighs> like an easy sell? Like, should I even keep that black ring? You know what I mean? I don't even know. I guess I should try it to use it in battle and see what's up, right? I mean, that's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. Alright, we'll just sell... Well, first let me verify that that shit is, uh... Oh, I could afford it already. I was fucking wrong the whole time. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that was an upgrade. I hope. Otherwise, I did make a blunder there, but... I mean, he's almost at 40 attack power, so it's like, whatever. Gold is definitely a lot harder to come by in this game, I will say. Oh, the fucking hidden item is probably there, actually. That makes sense, right? I did not see this alley. It's also a different colored box? No? Huh. Okay. Well, I'll be.
There's nothing. Oh, I think I got it already. I am stupid. <clears throat> Pretty sure this is just the item shop, so. Maybe the mithril that I'm looking for is in one of these. Oh, there's a treasure chest. There it is. I thought it was in a crate. Well, I don't got no money, so I can't really uh, buy any items. Not like I need them at the moment, but it's besides the point. All right. All right, so apparently there's a bunch of shit in the inn. I haven't gone there yet, I guess. What the, which one's the... The inn's probably this big-ass building, I would assume. And there's headquarters. I went over here already. <clears throat> I went there, there, there. Did I go in this place? Was this the... Uh, this was the barracks, I think? I just want to double-check. And then I'm going to go into the inn. Yeah, that was the barracks. Alright, let's go to the inn. Apparently there's a couple items in there and probably people to talk to. And then I want to head back to the castle to talk around a little bit. Hmm. Didn't you command the Republican army when the train was attacked? Yes. Oh, how can I ever thank you? The repairs on the railroad were finally finished and here I am. You're welcome. Buy me a drink. I came all the way out to Aspia and almost died in the attack, but I still can't see King Benetron. I paid a lot to get on that train and I intend to get my gold worth before heading home. Oh my, Lord Symbios, why are you in a bar in the middle of the day? If Lord Conrad heard about this, he would hang his head in shame. Oh, it's still early. Yet yeah, you come here to drown your cares in a drink? Ah, well when a man wants a drink, he wants a drink, eh? Be my guest. Uh, I... Oh, this is an exit? Okay, well, shit. Okay, so that entrance and exit, and then I guess there's stairs. Okay, definitely got a lot of shit going on in here. Doesn't the Barisol army owe fealty? I never heard of that word before. To Lord Brutus? With Brutus gone to Cerebon, they're doing whatever they want. How could they take advantage? We came here for our honeymoon, but we can't return home because the army is blocking the road. Ah, skip the dialogue. Did you notice my accent? I was born in the harbor town, which is adored by many people in Aspia. Wow, aren't you fucking full of yourself, lady? Who cares? Let me in. You know the statue we unearthed today from the ruins inside the castle? That thing gives me the willies. As I was working, I felt it as if it was watching me. My partner says I'm imagining things. I'm staying at this inn while excavating the ancient castle ruins. We dug something up amazing today. It's a statue of a huge giant. You wouldn't believe the size of this thing. Let me check this fucking bookshelf, bruh. You not letting me? He's not letting me. Damn, there's a lot of fucking people staying in here, huh? I can't leave until I see King Banatrom in person and get food stock directly from him. The lord of our region steals the rations from Aspia for himself. At this rate, everyone will starve. I came here with my grandfather and saw Aspia for the first time. Aspia has a big town and castle. It's so different from the little village that I live in. So apparently there's some kind of, like, super duper hidden item here and I found it really quickly <laughs> alright more mithril we're getting a lot of mithril I hope we get fucking good luck later when we uh, find this merchant or um, blacksmith excuse me we can only hope <clears throat> it's dark inside Right before we escaped to Aspia, we saw a huge island. It looked like it was moving toward Headland. It was spitting out black smoke and making waves as it moved. Strangest thing I ever saw. That must be the monster then, right? <clears throat> Didn't we just read about that? We came from the Southlands fleeing the coming war. 
The castle walls of Aspia are truly magnificent. Even the Empire won't be able to break them down. Oh, yeah? Um... Hmm. It's supposed to be a power wine. Uh, where's this? Aha! Item storage. Obviously, it's in something here. Alright, let's use that. Uh, let me think. Probably use it on him, right? Use it on Symbios. Now, what is his uh, attack? As much as I love this music, by the way, it's like really fucking loud, so I apologize if you get spiked audio-wise. But, uh, the really, like, emphatic, loud, bass-oriented uh, songs in this game are really loud. Alright, good, that brings Symbios up to a... Between the promotion, the new weapon, the power wine, and the white ring, uh, Symbios seems to be pretty good now, so that's good. Alright, with that being said, I think we're basically good. Um, I'm gonna go search the castle first. Because I think there's an item or two there. Then I'm gonna stop at headquarters and dump some shit off. And then uh, we'll presumably head out to the next battle. I'm gonna save first, obviously. That looks like that's the town exit. And this probably leads to the castle, yeah. Okay. Lots of people to talk to here. Very, very in-depth game when it comes to uh, dialogue and characters and all that kind of stuff, which is totally fine. But yeah, you could totally spend like an hour in each town before you do stuff. Which again, totally fine. Just gonna make for a lot longer videos. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just talk to everybody. Now that the war has begun, we should attack the Empire and take their land. That would make us all rich. Uh, was I out of line there? Hmm, I was just kidding. Not really. The castle garrison has been strengthened since the Empire first moved against us. We've had a small skirmish before, but we've not fought in a real battle since the War of the Independence. Guess I'll just talk to you first. This is the National Treasure Vault. Only Senators may enter. All others are prohibited. Well, that's what they make me say. Aspia has a short history. I don't know of anything valuable in here. Does Irene seem strange to you? No? No? Well, you're a man, so you're probably not thinking clearly. An attractive girl could paint herself blue and you wouldn't bat an eye, men. Talking about Irene in my party? General Fa- I do have an Irene, right? General Fafard has a great reputation, but the son of his breath, nobody really understands him. He's always polite, but for some reason he just seems so distant. Well, maybe he's just shy. Lord Symbios, he must have the most exciting adventures, like when you visited Sarabond. Well, I really envy you. I've never left the country. Perhaps he could tell us a story sometime. Uh, get out of the way. Oops. <clears throat> Castle's near the center of Espinia, but we may live more modestly than other territories of the Republic. Our poorly fed army won't stand a chance in the war against the Empire. No matter how long I slave over this stove, the king hardly notices. Maybe he's watching his weight. If he was a glutton, at least we'd have more food in the castle and everyone would get plenty to eat. Is there a fucking well in here? Maybe to get water? Huh. Nothing. 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 And nothing. Surprising. Definitely expected there to be an item of some sort there, but it was not to be the case. Oh. Aha. Unable to open it, huh? Okay. Probably can't open anything, right? Yep. I wonder if, like, maybe we come back to the town or something and a, uh, you know, a royal member or whatever fucking lets us, I don't know, open all that shit. 
Ugh. All right, let's go in here. I think there's an item in here. There we go. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I think I'm ready for a fight. You know, I've been uh, kind of geared up here for a half hour. I don't really necessarily know if there's uh, anything too worthwhile that hasn't already been said in some way, shape, or form, you know, regarding, like, the, uh, the rations, or the war, or the defenses of the town, or this, that, and the other, so let's stop off at our headquarters, uh, dump off some mithrils, potentially grab a heal or two, go to the church and save, and leave town. So let's find our... Where were our barracks? There's by the inn, right? I think. Like right over here? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Benetrom is with me, so... There we go. I'm gonna transfer... Oh, I do have to bring him into my party. And he is a gladiator. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. 33-23. Is he even worth it? Is the question. Horst. I mean, he's got good HP. He's not super strong. His defense is good, though. Good agility. Well, not good agility, but the same as Obright. Same movement. Same luck. <clears throat> Potentially if I give him that other mace though, right? He might be pretty good. But is there anybody that I want to remove from my party? Right now I'm pretty married to these four. Especially Hayward. <clears throat> I like having Irene. Sybil's actually like legit now. I don't want to get rid of Elder. Honestly, I'd consider getting rid of Khan. I like having Noon just for the freeze. And Justin's always good because of the ranged attack. Should I maybe get rid of Khan? Like... I don't know, because... Yeah, you know what? I might. And then we're going to give... I'm gonna see how it goes without the extra heal, you know? And now let's, uh, take the Battle Bracer and give it to the new guy, Horst. Yes. And let's take the Healing Drop and give it to Horst. Alright, now let's deposit. Uh, give, right? Me thrill. Okay. Boom. Boom. Oops. And now let's take some old shit. It's fine. Take this as well. It's fine. My goal here is I want to be able to have enough uh, money to buy somehow. I guess I could probably sell that too, right? No. Grab another healing drop. All right, let's see if we have enough gold to buy the upgrade uh, mace for... What the fuck is his name? I keep forgetting. Horst, right? Something along those lines. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so I believe it was right here. We gotta sell a couple things. I mean, we could definitely have enough money if we sell that ring, but... I don't know if I want to yet. I gotta figure out if I could use it in battle without being cursed. So let's sell 
And we're gonna sell that. And we're gonna sell that. Yeah, definitely not a lot of money, huh? Sell that, that's good. We gave Hayward an extra healing drop. So how much does that shit cost? And... Oh, it's only a few... Wait a minute, hold up. Did he already have a flail? Now I'm confused. Was it a red one or a... Okay, no, it is an upgrade for Horst. Horst is pretty sick. I will say something, though, about Horst. Slightly concerned that Horst is literally a mercenary. And I could see Horst leaving me, potentially, uh, at the end of the chapter or something along those lines. But either way, we are now locked, stocked, and loaded. And totally ready for the battles that lie ahead. But before we do so, we gotta drop a save here. Because we just spent almost 35 minutes talking, looting, buying and selling, and depositing. And we managed to get a new force member too, which is pretty cool. Alright, <clears throat> let's head out of town. Let's zoom out here. And where is the town exit? Looks like it's... Not over there? What the fuck? <laughs> where are we going? That's not it. Should be right across then, right? Blech. There we go. Uh, the castle gate is shut tight. Do I have to... No, we go right here. There we go. The Aspia Castle Wall. Is this that statue? Nothing found, you say? I call bullshit. Huh. Fuck, I can't remember... Uh, where we came. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait a minute, we came from over there, right? Because that was the bridge. So this is probably where we're going. You gotta excuse me, it's been like herky-jerky since Christmas, honestly. On a typical uh, schedule for me, I'm usually recording like five days a week, but I was recording maybe like two or three days a week, so. Lots of time in between segments. <clears throat> The Barisol army is really moving fast. A scout unit has already reached storage. We must hurry, Lord Symbios. We should head for storage as quickly as possible. The main Barisol army must not make it to the town. Huh? That must be the Symbios army. They must be moving to reinforce storage. Push on, scout unit. Pillage storage before they can catch up to you. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda hoping that this is a straightforward battle, because I feel like there's been so many gimmicky battles. Even the last one, which I want to point out I thoroughly enjoyed, was still rather gimmicky. That appears to be storage, another railroad. Hmm. Doesn't really look to be anything to search out here, unless there's truly hidden items. We got hellhounds. Okay. Alright. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Um, I think I'm gonna have Don Terrace chill. I just don't like being completely separated, you know? I'm always a defensive first type of guy. I will take a hit if it means I could dish out three. Oh yeah, Symbios looking fresh. And also, just fucking eating damage now. Check out these new gloves. Boom, boom. Okay. Well, we got a new special attack, bullet heal. We didn't get a uh, crit there, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that would've been nice. 
Elder didn't get attacked there. Elder's defense definitely uh, not great, but it's okay. Got Sybil to the rescue. Not really overly concerned with who gets what in this fight, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda go through and do my thing, really. Getting decent experience, so that's good. I think everybody's promoted now, right? Because it was Khan and... Uh, whatchamacall. Khan and Symbios were the last two to be promoted, and the new guy is level two, so he's obviously promoted already as well. Probably unnecessary to do heal two there, but kind of wanted to position Grace back. Wouldn't mind getting Justin to level up, just to have an extra... Basically an extra Hayward, you know? There we go. Yeah, the stat increases are doing much better after promotion, which, you know, should be the case, but... What else is on the battlefield? I actually didn't really look enough. Okay, so we got, like, these guys. We got a boss. There is no fucking way. Not a chance in hell that more enemies aren't gonna appear. There's no way. That's way too little. There's like no enemies out here. Not a chance, I don't buy it. I do not buy it. Just a matter of when and where, right? <clears throat> Wait. Oh my god, guys, I'm an idiot. Oh, no. I didn't realize that the Hellhound was still there. Because so many of my guys are, like, green. Oh, that sucks. And now fucking What's-His-Face is paralyzed. Well, damn, dude. That's my bad. Yep, paralyzed. Well, shit. Yeah, the color palettes are confusing, honestly. I thought that was Donteris, but it was Sybil. Um, well, with that being said, we need to heal Sybil. That was a completely unnecessary sequence of events. Ah, <sighs> disappointed in myself. Counter. Come on now. Get Obright to kill at least. Looks like we dropped the fairy powder. Get the new guy some action here, right? I gotta zoom out, can't see shit. So I basically just a reskinned Obright. With a... Horst! I, I would, I guess I'd say a cooler name. Horst sounds pretty sick. Definitely sounds like a brute gladiator. Alright, Noon, I'm like babying you. So, can you start leveling up? Okay... Again, I'm not totally convinced that uh, what we see ahead of us is all that there is. You know what I'm saying? I am not. You know, and I think we'll be okay without Khan. Um, my only concern is that if Horst does leave, 
the con will be a bit under leveled and typically if and when that happens it's not good um, <laughs> I don't do a good job typically of leveling up my healers so we'll see So the Force Commander is retreating. That's fine, I suppose. Might have to be a little bit more aggressive in this battle. Doesn't seem to be too many danger, danger spots, unless, of course, as I stated, we get, uh, you know, surprise spawns, which seems to happen in almost every other fight, at least. One, two, three. Yeah, that's out of range. Well, that sucks. Symbios also is out of range. And Elder. Come on now. Well, we're about to eat some uh, eat some attacks here, unfortunately. It's all good though. Still have two healers, you know? Plus Symbios is a Chad now, so we're all good. Um, where's Grace? Grace is over there. Might not be able to heal Don Paris, but it's not like... Don Terrace is in real danger. Also, that was a pretty good level up for Irene. Magic spell up to level 2. Do we dare? Are we just going to be paralyzed? Yeah, I guess so. I think we have to actually heal it. I don't think uh, paralysis comes off on its own. At least it doesn't appear to. Um, I'll stay back and attack with Hayward. Uh, fairy powder should do it, I believe. Take this. Kill it. Ah. Bit of a bummer, but it's okay, I suppose. Um, let me see here. Is it worth it yet? I'm gonna say the answer is no. And yeah, I'm just gonna position you, I guess, over here. Knock the paralysis out of her, please. Oof, that's actually a lot of damage. That's no good. Um, Obright, I believe, cures most effects. Please be most. <laughs> Please be most. There we go. No longer paralyzed. Alright. Horst can come in and bang on this dude. Oh, might be kill here. Indeed it is. Let's go, Horst. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. Hi fucking ya, yeah, baby. Alright, so noon, I am actually going to. I know I'm falling back here quite a bit, but I'm gonna get the kill on noon, because noon might be close to level 2 at this point. Let's see. There we go. And we learned freeze 2. That's what we fucking been waiting for, baby. Quality turn, in my opinion. Um, definitely gonna hit the Bear Soul Soldier. They seem to be uh, the tougher opponents. Um, what to do here though? The Masker in there. I think I'll do Spark. Nice. 
I really underestimated that. I wasn't expecting a kill, to be honest with you. I was expecting one of those near-death hits, but, I mean, I'll fucking take it. Boom. Should be able to wipe this guy out before he attacks us. Um... I'm gonna take my chances here. Perfect. I was gonna use a spell, but I want to save it for, uh, heals. I still don't feel right about this. I, I feel like we're gonna get fucked somehow. I just do. Okay, we'll heal up Sybil, and then uh, continue to push forward here. Hey, that's good. I'll take that. Absolutely. Alright, <clears throat> let's see what you got, Symbios. Only five damage. Ha! Huh. I'm scoffing at this dude. That's my scoff. Ooh, another fucking... BAM! And we leveled up. And we dropped that dude's stats. Let's go. I'm like so torn. I don't know, like... I just feel like... It's your... What? Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Who said that? Did, did he say that? Did Horse say that? It's your turn, Invasion Force. Divide the Symbios army before they get anywhere near storage. Who said it? Okay. Well, I mean, that kind of blows, but... It is what it is, I suppose. I'm guessing, obviously, Horse didn't say it, but for a second I thought that I let a fucking traitor in my midst. I'd have been very upset. Alright, we're just gonna have to, like, drop tons of fucking... ...spells on them and shit. It's really no big deal. I don't know if uh, that was a glitch with the game, with the translation, or the fact that too many sprites came onto the screen at once, but... It sounded like the music was starting to fuck up. Yeah, it's looking like it's chugging over there due to the amount of sprites, so that's probably why. It sounds normal now, though. So that's good. Oh my god, guys, I almost did it again! The, the, the fucking, the green enemies, dude. I keep forgetting that they're on there because there's so much green on the forest. And Take also this. the, uh, thank goodness. It is fucking crit. You know, the grass is green, obviously. And then I have a lot of force members that have green in them. And I just keep fucking forgetting. I keep walking past enemies and shit. Alright, thank goodness they're starting to separate, so hopefully there's a little bit of s less slowdown. Alright, Horst can go over here. <clears throat> Counter. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I liked that. If we can get a, I'm gonna say a maskering up here. I'm sure a spark take care of this. Blaze two might have, but I want it to pretty much guarantee a kill here. But that's that. Keep leveling up. 
not gonna lie. As sick as uh, Teao and Henri and Kazen are, fucking Maskrin might be the best. The fact that she learns Bolt and shit is like fucking awesome. I realize I'm, you know, a little over halfway through the game, so who knows what the end game holds, but as of now, I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the cut of the jib. That was a little risky putting Sybil there, to be honest with you. Because Sybil got hit pretty hard by these things. At least we didn't get paralyzed. Also, my archers were so far back. Uh, which does suck a little bit. <clears throat> the fact that Noon and my archers are so far back does actually really blow. Counter. Oh boy. Sybil might be going down, people. Sybil's going down, people. Come on, Sybil. Dodge it. Counter. Something. Uh. Well, that actually blows. That was a really bad idea on my part. I shouldn't have put Sybil out there. Obviously, I don't think that this battle in itself um, is in any kind of jeopardy, but, you know, it does suck to not get Sybil a level up or something like that. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, Alright, let's start banging in with Horst. Horst is awesome, I hope they let me keep him. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, let me think here. Actually gonna... I think I might be able to just get away with Blit. The Hellhound might be strong against this though. Oh, never mind. Not even close. I thought the Hellhound might be like a Cerebus, right? It's sort of like resistant to fire, but doesn't appear to be the case. I could have taken the kill, but I feel like somebody else can come up and get it. It's probably better to start hitting into this guy. Somebody should outturn him, I'm assuming. What are we getting hit by? Oh my god, Blaze 3? Oh, that's not good, he's dead. Oh, he survived. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. With that being said, um, now I'm really torn. I think it is in my best interest to hit. Well, yeah, he's got one more Blaze 3. Hmm. Alright, we gotta start making some moves. That's all I'm gonna say. We gotta start making some moves. I want to kill at least one Bear Soul Soldier here, please. Ah. Alright, it's getting a little sketchy right now. I'm st ooh, ooh. Jesus! Alright, we're gonna get the kill first. And I realize people are in needs of heals, but I'm just... Oh, I forgot they could attack. Oh, I might be dead. Oh no, never mind. Wrong guy. I forgot I got hit by the archer before. Alright, so, we need to heal. Oh, that's Hayward, my bad. <laughs> that is Hayward. Um... Can we get a crit here? No? Fine. Be that way. And we are too far away. Is this even worth it? I don't know. Probably not. So I'm not gonna. Oh, we're gonna get hit. Yeah, Obright's gonna get killed, dude. Fuck. God damn it, dude. Yeah, I don't think the tornado would have killed that guy anyway. Still doesn't make it any less disappointing. Alright, so Horst. I'm gonna have Horst get into the mage and probably kill the mage to prevent another blaze. Oh, yeah, definitely kill him. 
Definitely killing. I gotta get noon up there, dude. Alright, so Masquerin. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't think that we were gonna get a one-hit kill, but I mean, in ways you never know. <laughs> a little risky sending Symbios in here, but also I gotta start leveling Symbios up a lot. Turn Symbios into a tank and then you don't really have to worry about anything. You know? Um, I really hope there's some way to kill this dude before. Yeah, I gotta pull back. I gotta pull back. Oh my god! I did it again! Holy shit, guys! Can we kill him? Oh my god, he fucking parried me. I didn't realize that there was an enemy there. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sick of these green enemies. I feel like the game did that on purpose. And of course, I have this fucking thing that's supposed to be giving me crits, and I don't get any of them. Oh, man. Big blunder. We have to hope the Elder doesn't get killed. And of course, you know, I went for the gold. I tried to get the kill, and then I don't fucking hit him. Oh my god, I, I really gotta be more cognizant of these green people on the battlefield, man. It is not cool. Well, at least we're gonna guarantee this kill. It's kind of a waste from Hayward, but... It is what it is. And now... We could heal... Elder. I'm gonna do heal too. Yeah, like I could have prevented like two or three like really bad turns had I fucking realized that there was a freaking enemy. Oh no, the force came in. Oh, Dantares is dead, dude. Oh, that's not good. Dantares has been dying a lot lately. This is not ideal. <clears throat> if Maskern could get a turn, though, this is actually very ideal. Because I could do a, a fat fucking Blaze 2 or something. And hopefully Noon can get over there. Most of these guys just went. So that's on my side. Uh, what do we got here? That's seven, huh? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit you. Yeah, if we can get the magicians up there, ooh, we're gonna do some major damage. Can't, are you in range? Okay, I mean, could have been better with one more fucking tile, but it's okay. I mean, I'll take 20 on the boss any day of the week. And now we got Maskerin coming in and doing what I want it to do. Does Spark hit? Yeah, Spark hits all four of these guys, dude. This might be... This might be devastating. This might be devastating. Dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. I'm dead. Oh, that is a great turn for Maskerin. The, the enemy was stupid there. They, like, gave me a bit of a layup, honestly. And now... We'll bang into the soldier. I think that Symbio should be able to kill a soldier. Yep. We want to get all the experience that we can. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, Elder, I guess, can... Attack the Force Commander. We hope that we don't get the... Ooh, Twister. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. We don't want the aura to get off, but... Oh. Oh, Irene 
kill. <laughs> That's okay. I'll take it. That battle went from seemingly pretty easy to sketchy, and then when they bunched up into that formation, it pretty much sealed the victory for me. I'm a little upset that I keep getting Donteris killed. I should probably start pulling him back a little bit more. These may be Republican forces, but if they defy the Senate, we must stop them. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't the green armor good? The Republicans. To do such a thing while country is in turmoil, that's the worst part of all of this. What? Look, Lord Symbios. Oh no, are you fucking... Oh, they're better- yo. If there's a battle immediately in storage, we're actually in a little bit of trouble. The west gate has been closed, we can't get back into Aspia. Not only that, now we can't return to Flagard either. It's probably... it must be... I wonder if they're trying to stop us from going to Flagard, but, but why? If that is their plan, Flagard must be in danger. We must return there, no matter the cost. Well... Okay, first of all, another sick song. Damn. We hurried here, but the town has already been turned upside down by the Barisol army. We can't do anything until the west gate opens. However, we better be well rested. We may have to engage in battle at any time. Well, the town has been turned upside down, so I don't know what that means. Sometimes that means there's nothing to loot, nothing to buy. Um, in saying that, there seems to be some hidden items here, and correct me if I'm wrong, hold on, I was gonna save and call it a day, but is that our boy? There it is! Chirp, chirp! This must be the, uh, the Domingo of the game, right? The cute thing. It looks like the egg is hatched, how cute! It seems there's something it wants to tell you. Chirp, chirp, chirp! Because the Bolsum sect is an enemy of his friends in the north, he would like to help you defeat them. Pen the penguin- oh, it's a penguin! Is he any good? Let's take a look. Pen the penguin. Let's see what we got here, Pen. Oh, you know, that's actually kind of annoying. I don't think I can access him, right? Because, yeah, because he's not my party. Either way, I don't want to get too carried away here, uh, exploring the town. I want to take my time. That appears to be the church, I think. Yes, perfect. Yeah, we'll talk to these people. A war against the Empire and, it, and the invasion by Barisol. The world's going mad, so I'm praying to Ebelsom. I hope those evil beasts don't come into town. If a bunch of them came at once, the people would panic. All right, we need to revive a few people. So, I'm seeing the stats for Pen, and they're not good. <laughs> so, I don't know if there is a, a hidden agenda, but um, yeah, Pen is really bad. 9 hit points, 13 attack, 6 defense. But, I'm wondering if Pen has a rags to riches story, maybe like, uh, what's his face from Shining Force 2, Kiwi? Kiwi gets pretty good. The only thing that Kiwi has going against uh, him or her, whatever it is, is um, the low HP makes very susceptible to magic spells. And in Shining Force 2, that's not good because late game, tons of magic users. Anyway, I digress. It's time to start searching the town and I'll do a little bit of research in the pen. All right, so a couple of quick things. First, uh, apparently leveling up our new cute penguin friend, Pen. Um, is a bit of a pain and apparently the payoff isn't as good as it appears to be so I'm not gonna bother uh, obviously with these playthroughs I don't really like overly grinding unless I have to so I'm going to not do that <laughs> um, also something for the future of my playthroughs <clears throat> that utilize SCART through um, Retro Tink such as this one, Sega Saturn, PS1, PS2, whatever. 
I need to adjust the sharpness settings uh, on my Elgato. I could definitely get the picture looking a little bit sharper. It's still not going to be perfect, obviously, but um, I kind of messed with that offline. But I already like tinkered so much with the settings on this playthrough throughout various early videos, and I don't want to keep doing it. So we'll just start fresh. I'll make sure that my next playthrough on the Saturn um, or the PS1 or whatever is maxed out for you guys, all right? <clears throat> anyway, we need to explore the town of storage here. The Barisol army was saying something about being a decoy to attract your attention. Everything seems to be related. I wonder what the real purpose behind all this is and who's calling the shots. Hmm. The Barisol army invaded storage, but they retreated when the Symbios army got close. That's why the town didn't sustain much damage. If you come just a little bit later, the whole town could have been wiped out. Okay, well that explains everything, right? There's headquarters. We got some barrels back here. Oops, oops, come on. Face the barrel. Alright, doesn't appear to be anything hidden there. Apparently there's something over here, I guess, I just saw. Could be, uh... There we go. How are you to ever know that unless you're just walking around clicking? You know what I mean? Anyway. Start looking at some houses here. Since King Benetrom is safe, I figured the country would stabilize, but Barisol mobilized its army. Lately, the Republican military is becoming more like the Imperial Army. Oh, shoot. In a way, yes, yes. I hear you. I can't believe the two armies of this country fought each other. In the Empire, I hear internal battles for the right to rule occur often. Hope the Republic doesn't start to emulate the Empire. Oh, nice. We got another uh, treasure map. While that is nice, that means that the next battle is going to take a long fucking time. It's dark inside. Warriors in training. Attack aggressively with warriors in training. An enemy may have a strong will, but odd things happen in war. Ain't that the truth? Alright, what do we got? Church. I don't think we've been in here yet. Nowadays, I see evil-looking beasts I've never seen before. You think they're sent by the Empire? Yes. What? Really? I heard the Empire was strengthening its forces, but I never imagined they used beasts. Well... It's probably the, uh, <clears throat> the Bolsum sect, but whatever. I'm gonna throw the Empire under the bus. <laughs> Unit training. Be sure to train all available soldiers. You never know when you might need them. And that's why it's unfortunate when certain people die in battles, because you never know. Like I said, I have a feeling that, um... Horst, or whatever his name is, is probably gonna leave us. I, I just get that feeling that he's a mercenary. I'm just saying. The Imperial Army is proud of its powerful military weaponry. Does the Republic even stand a chance? If the Republic lost, I wonder what would happen to us. Okay. One, two, three. I think we have three more places to look at. And then some people to talk to outside. It looks like something's being guarded, which is interesting. Everyone worried about the war against the Empire. If all the commoners in the Republic united, those rotten Imperial country betraying selfish swine would be no match for us. Grandpa can't tolerate the Dystonian Empire under the rule of Emperor Domeric. Times have changed, but he still holds an image of the old Empire. That's why he takes the Empire so lightly. Hey, 50 gold coins. I mean, any coins at this point is, uh, good for me. More Mithril. Coins seem to be at a premium in this game, uh, probably unless you grind a lot. 
Definitely has to make you think just a little bit more in the other games. In terms of what you're buying and all that kind of stuff. When I was little, I remember coming here by crossing the Baldric Strait over a stone bridge. The Baldric Strait runs south into the Dystonian Sea and acts as a trading route between the Republic and the Empire. Although Beresol is part of the Republic, their army marched on storage. No matter how bad this year's harvest was, I can't believe they'd try to steal the goods that rightfully belong to the country. Hmm. Alright, we got the, uh, the item shop here. Let's just check everything first. Okay. Uh, Alright. I haven't been checking the deals lately. Um... That is an upgrade for Grace, but also an upgrade for Noon. But, like I've been saying... Ooh. Bastard Sword. See, this is what I'm talking about. Are there hidden stats, or is this part of the translation? Like, why is the Bastard Sword so much more expensive? than the battle blade but unless there's hidden stats which there might very well be um you know it just appears to be a prettier looking <laughs> sword with worse stats you know what i mean although maybe what's this oh, okay elder could use it okay all right guys i'm sorry so it looks like from what i've noticed the when he uses a sword or excuse me when she uses a sword her attack goes up but her defense goes down. With the wing thing, the defense goes up. So it's like... I don't know. I think I'm gonna err on the side of... the attack, but I want to give this, uh... a little bit more time to... think it over here. This is an expensive sword, dude. I think we're gonna do it. Yes. And then we're gonna sell the silver wing. And then let's look here. We're gonna give the Saint Ankh to Grace. Power Ankh could be sold. And should we. Oh, duh. Never mind. It's just a. Uh... Yeah, that's my bad. Tornado 3. Sleep one. What is Noon's current thing? Can Noon even use Tornado 3? Small wand. Hmm. I might give it a try. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, though. Because I feel like Tornado is reserved for... healers. But I mean, if Noon could have this equipped, then... You know, I don't know. Who knows? Alright, I think we're good here. I'm fine with that. Uh, I got some people to talk to. I'm so hungry, I smell something delicious. Mmm, Salisbury steak, cheese omelet, bean porous stinks. Knowing their neighbors are poor, they should be more considerate and not tempt us with the aroma of food. Pretty cruel. We've resorted to dreaming about food. This is gonna scar me for life. Oh, God damn. Sorry. <clears throat> Train station workers have a lot of free time. They only work during arrival and departure times. They've come here griping about their lives, but sometimes they get quite drunk and they pinch my butt. Lots of uh, sexual assault going on in this game, I tell you. I was anticipating the failure of the peace conference. I've been waiting for the Republic, uh, in the Republic for a while. There haven't been any weapon orders yet, and I'm beginning to get bored with waiting. Lord Symbios of Flagard. Since the West Gate is closed, you can't get to Flagard. Is this an inconvenience for you? Yes. Hmm. There is a passage through the volcanic mountain. There's a cave southeast of here. 
It's supposed to lead to Flagard. It's very dangerous, but if you need to get there, it may be worth exploring. Thank you. You think Aspenia is poor? I disagree. When the weather turned and the harvest became dismal, I received an order for a massive amount of food. The payment was made in solid gold. This place, the drinks here are pretty bad. Think it's because the Republic is poor? Yes. I wonder if that's true. Aren't there only a few places that produce wine? When I was in Railhead, I had an expensive wine that was produced in the Republic. It didn't taste like this at all. The girl working here is a babe, isn't she? She's my type. But I can't say that to her face, so I pretend to be drunk and get near her. <laughs> then I pinch her butt. Alright guys, arrest him. Arrest this fucking asshole. Jeez, sorry, you're just trying to do your job. Fucked up. Alright. Gotta love these crude translations, right? Guess we'll talk to this guy. Now that war has broken out, no one passes without a writ uh, granted by the governor. Okay, I hear you. Um... Apparently... I missed something... in one of the people's homes. The young couple. Is this the old couple? How did I miss that? I could have sworn that I checked over there. Maybe I had my camera tilted in a weird way and I got, uh, preoccupied, but either way, I'm thinking, uh, let's use the protect milk on Elder. There, that completely nullified the uh, defense drop. And I think it's also best to drop off some Mithril. Save up and then... Head into the next battle where there's going to be a, another uh, ruin to explore, so it's going to take a little bit. Transfer. Oh, hold up, not transfer. Give. Mithril. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I gotta grab that out. Okay, <clears throat> I guess I could have sold that. I think I should give the healing drop to Symbios. Okay, I'll actually go back to the store and sell that one uh, bracelet that we got. I think we got that from the boss at the end of the last battle. Um, who was the store? Was it this one or was it the one all the way in the end? Must have been the other one. Yeah, we got another uh, thief map coming up here. And I was wrong on all accounts, as I always am. I'm telling you guys, if you ever need like directions from somebody in real life, don't ask me. I don't remember shit. All right. We're gonna sell... that well that's good because if we end up getting like another battle or two uh, before we need to upgrade some items or weapons um, should have more than enough gold to satisfy my needs well, let's hit up the save and go check out the next battle which again has a uh, another thief map. So I guess with this thief map, there's only one thief, and uh, the thief, as I've learned, needs to open basically everything. And it's gonna be tough, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, because with only one thief, we're gonna have to attack him four times. It appears. I might have to send a healer or somebody in there. Somebody that's really weak. Maybe I'll unequip somebody. You know what I mean? Something like that. But, um... Yeah, alright. Gotta be very mindful to let the thief do his thing. 
I don't think we came this way, right? Oh, wait, I did. My bad. I really like that music in that town. Alright, lots of loading going on here, so I'm gonna assume there's a battle. <laughs> I see you plan to make for that mountain tunnel, Symbios Army. I will not let you pass. That Barisol Battalion has changed tactics. Last time we saw them, they were guarding the south gate. They're trying to prevent us from getting to the passage. They were just a decoy, after all. Too late now, Symbios. By now, an elite battalion led by General Fafhard is advancing into Flagard. What? Even General Fla uh, Fafhard has betrayed Aspenia? Who are the real traitors, Don Terris? Is it Benetram and Conrad who turned against the spirit of the Republic? How, how can the already poverty-stricken Aspia continue to send aid to the other regions when it has had such a string of meager harvests? What are you saying? With Aspia's aid, many territories have been able to avoid severe famine. So as long as we of the Republic are spared famine, should we remain silent and allow our leaders to exploit us? Do you suggest we turn our backs on the very ideals which drove us away from the Empire? If Conrad and Benetrom could afford to give such aid, it's clear they have a hidden fortune from the people. That is your belief. Gather lords from each territory and present your grievances to the Assembly. The lords are greedy. They would never turn against those who keep their pockets lined with gold. Shit. It's true, though. It's no use talking. Turn back. You will never reach Flagard in time. The Barisol Army Battalion will smash you to pieces. This has to be some sort of misunderstanding. Let's catch up the Fafards so we can clear this up. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that shit to happen. God die. Alright, well, let's take a look here on the battlefield. Okay, Bear Soul Soldiers, Hellhounds, there are the ruins. Hmm, they're pretty far this time, huh? Interesting. Here I go again, sending Don Terrace out to his doom, right? Definitely trying to be a little bit more proactive in my fights. Just slightly. I still want to play on the defensive uh, the majority of the time, but... As long as Dontaris could tank two hits here, we're totally fine. We got a healer nearby, so... Is this going to be a straight-up battle, though? That's the question. Or are we going to get hit with some... Classic Shining Force 3 garbage, as I like to call it. Where, you know, a million other enemies just pop up in the middle of the fight. Very possible. Nice level up there for Hayward. All about it. Alright, keep the brace close. My poor gladiators. They take so long to move. As long as we don't get critted or something. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we are not within range, which is very unfortunate. Attack this guy.
Um, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Probably can get away with the blaze too on the Hydra. Here I, come. I hope. Yep. Ooh, we got Blaze 3 now, people. Nice. Love to see it. Okay. Bit of a bummer that we couldn't get the kill there. Alright, let's heal with Irene. Yeah, we're gonna have to send, like... Noon or Grace or somebody into that uh, deep ruin. Honestly. I mean, if we're gonna have to hit that thief a, a zillion times, there's really no way around it. Looks like the be there's a couple pieces of mithril in there and a potion, uh, but the best. Loot is going to be the Heat Axe, which I'm all about. Uh, let's see, let's see. I don't know, like, which way do we go? You know what I mean? Because if we go this way, I think it's going to be a, a lot harder to get to the ruins without getting attacked by everybody. I don't know. We'll just go this way, I guess. It's whatever. Maybe they'll move towards me. Seems like a pretty straightforward battle for a change. Definitely gonna take a little while though, probably, to, to get going. Especially, uh, I don't know, should we start splitting up our force? You know? I don't know, dude. It's just gonna probably extend the battle like five to ten minutes if I don't, but I feel like I gotta keep the force together. They're not attacking, which is odd. They could have. <clears throat> I think they probably will attack next turn, unless they're uh, falling back, which is potentially happening, I suppose. Falling back towards the final group over there. Hellhounds seem to be moving up. Hmm. I'm gonna hold my ground. We're gonna have to eat some shots here, most likely. Oh, no, they're still not moving. Okay. Oops, didn't mean to zoom in there and slow the whole game down. I think it's horse of all people. I mean, I'll take it. <clears throat> wow, they're really ganging up on him. I was gonna say, we haven't gotten a counter in a while. Oh, bright. Boom. I gotta remember to heal Horst. Horst is pretty fucking good, man. I really hope that he doesn't leave, but I'm not uh, overly optimistic. Blaze 3, though. Actually, I didn't even need to do this. <laughs> I'm wasting fucking MP here. Pretty sick looking, I will say.
Okay. Let's heal Obright. Oh my god, wrong guy. Oh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> I got my gladiators mixed up. Horse was the one that was eating a shit ton of damage. That is my mistake. Hoping somehow, some way to get the kill there, but I realized that was. Ooh, they're attacking Obright. I don't know why. Well, that saved Horse most likely. I mean, we don't know for sure if he would have killed him or not, but. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. There we go. this guy. Yeah, another uh, thing I gotta worry about when I go into the Thief Ruins. I guess if you block the exits... I mean, I learned these things the hard way. Don't attack them, right? And don't block the exits before they have a chance to actually loot everything, because apparently, if you do that, uh, not everything gets looted. Uh, I don't remember who went first. I feel like it was this Hellhound. Hey, new special attack. Oh, okay. Noon with the freeze two double kill here. Now bear my Arctic blast. No, we don't need to waste that. We could do blaze one on him. Okay. Well, to my knowledge, uh, we're in good shape. Unless some bullshit happens, of course. You never know. So we are going to have to send a fast character into the ruins. I might actually send everybody back to not have to engage in battle until the ruins are done. I think that might be the move, to be honest with you. So who do I send in though is the question. And how do we get into the ruins? Do we get in... Oh my goodness. Do I have to get in right there? That looks like a door, right? Uh, well, if that's the case, I, I don't know. I mean, we could send somebody to the side closest to our force and then figure it out from there. Oops. I think I still want at least Don Terrace or Elder in there for their movement and speed. Then beyond that, I don't know, like I might send Grayson for the fact that we could uh Attack weekly on the thief. So 
always these little extra things in this game, whether it's the, you know, the gimmicks that they throw into the fights, the respawning enemies, the thief ruins, there's always so much to think about, you know? I'm gonna spin my camera, I don't like that angle. I'm gonna be like this. It would be nice if we can get into the backside here. But. Won't know until we try. Also, it seems like we got some enemy forces coming up and trying to engage, unfortunately. Hopefully, they're just shuffling, but. Well, I mean, if we got a couple people coming up, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Take care of them and then hope that the other uh, enemy troops don't come down. It's possible. As long as the commander stays back, then we're okay. Get rid of the bird people first, I guess. I forgot about that. And I mean, that would be good for a magic user, but uh, with the terrain and their current positioning, I don't think that there's any way uh, to get a magic user over there. Um, you know, before their next attacking turn. Yeah, I could barely get anybody over there, actually. Quite a bit of bad move on my part. <laughs> Might have been. In fact, gonna use a healing drop on Elder, just in case. My thought was I wanted to engage them, but, you know, obviously. Ah, that sucks. Are we gonna be able to get into the Thief Ruins? Basically what I have to do right now is I gotta, like, take care of these guys quick and then retreat. We just hope that we get a little bit of fallback. Yeah, because we have horrible fucking movement out here. Oh my god, I did it again. Shit. That was a bad move on my part. Alright, let's do this. For a second, I, th I thought that Elder was uh, the Wing Knight. And that goddamn heal saved the Wing Knight, so that's no good. Ah, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Luckily, Symbiosis' defense is super high. We're okay. We're okay. I just want them to stay back, you know what I mean? Like, that's like, my ultimate thing. Let's take the kill. I was gonna try to soften up nah, the unnecessary crit, but it's all good. I was gonna try to soften up the other guy and then come in with uh, a spell user, but yes, fall back. No, 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 don't move, please. Definitely not in range, that's okay. Nice, we learned the spark spell, good shit. I was wondering when we were gonna get our, uh, basically our bolt. Um, yeah, so we do have to enter around the side. That sucks. 
That actually sucks. Yeah, this um, Thief Ruin is going to be really tricky. Also, that was a really good level up for Don Terrace. But yeah, the Thief Ruin is going to be pretty tricky here. I'm going to send Elder in, I guess. Back off, chump. The treasure in these ruins is mine. I like how he literally hops into the top of the fucking... Those bandits are up to no good. Symbios, if we could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old fucking dialogue. Stay back, please. Alright. I'm gonna have Horse go over here. They're still not really moving. Obright go there. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of enemies in here, huh? Hmm. This could be a tough one. Could be a bit of a tough one here. Um, do we send Symbios in? I think we do, actually. Oh, that's right, my bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, I think we keep Irene out for healing out here. Send Elder in. Gonna fall back here with Hayward. Grace try to get in, which she can't yet, it's okay. Justin. Just wanna see what these guys are doing. Because if they're not moving, I'm not worried. Alright, they're not, so that's fine. Okay. So we are in Ah, oh, the ruins. And we cannot block the exit. Uh, unless... Hmm. I, well, you know what? No, I'll keep Masker out here. I feel like I probably should send somebody else in, other than Grace. I just don't know who... Feel Symbios. Maybe I'll send Hayward in. Alright, I'll send Grace in. Everybody else could pretty much stay outside. Gonna try to stagger a little bit here, just in case the mage decides to come down. Alright. Small Mithril. Yeah, so we have to let them unlock all the treasure chests, which fucking sucks. So he should be looting... Yeah, all of them. Where's the exit? Is this the exit? Or is that the exit? Hmm. A door there, a door there, and then that's the entrance. I feel like that can't be... We have a Vampire Bat, Hellhound, and a Hydra. So the Vampire Bats are obviously easy. I'm not concerned about that. Pull back. I think I'm gonna... Put Symbios back here. And we're just gonna... 
pretty much uh, mash not moving. And we got to deal with the, uh, the thief ruins. So, gonna be a little boring, but I gotta try my best to get everything in the thief ruins. They're moving up, I'm a little concerned. Can you not? Potion. Um. Sure. I wish I knew what the fucking exit was, though. You know what I mean? But whenever he loots the Heat Axe, I'm okay with attacking him at that point. I, uh... Alright, good. Alright. So we just gotta get to the Thief, basically, when he gets the Heat Axe. At that point, I'll start attacking him. I don't give a fuck. Just gotta make sure that he can't weasel his way out. But he should have, like, four chest to loot, and he still hasn't looted. One. Let's kill his bat. Okay. Uh, I hope we don't blow it, guys. I hope we don't blow it. Always so uh, nerve wracking these goddamn thief ruins. I'm telling you. The battle itself will be fine. Is that a heat axe? Ooh, no, it's not. All right, so that appears to be an exit. Where is the last chest? There's a chest over here, and then- oh, Well, shit. We might get screwed here, people. We might get screwed. I'm not even kidding. We, we might not be able to catch up in time, especially with these other, uh... <clears throat> enemies in the way. Because that door might be an exit over there, and if that door's an exit, we're completely fucked. Well, let's see what happens, fingers crossed, otherwise it was a complete waste of time, right? Fingers crossed, but I think he can get out in two turns, because I think he can get to the last chest. Yep, and if that's the exit... I think I'm fucked, guys. I think I'm fucked. Because if that is an exit, we're, we are done. Oh, we were one square away. Do I have something? No, I don't. Fuck. I don't know, dude. Man, that blows. And then Grace is being blocked from what might be the exit. Oh, it's bad news all around. Bad news all around, guys. We're fucked. We are fucked with a capital fucking F. Hold on. Equipment. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I, I think I royally uh, screwed this one. If, that, if the exit is literally right next to him, there's no chance we can't get to him. <clears throat> Ooh, well, that 
that's no good. But if the exit is where we came from, or that other door, we have a chance. Otherwise, it was pretty much a waste of time. We got like 120 coins and then Elder almost died. That's pretty much the only thing that happened in there. I really want that heat axe, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to reset it just to get the heat axe. I'm not that worried about it. It's obviously, I'm sure, really good, but let's see. Yep, he's gone. We fucking butchered that, huh? Wow. That's a tough one. That's a tough one, guys. That was a tough pill to swallow there. I don't really know what else to say. I was uh, a little bit too... concerned, I guess, with... Uh... I don't know. I was too concerned with the thief being able to loot all the chests that in the process... I just, I wasn't able to get there in time, so, oh well. It sucks. What can you do? Start swinging and banging over here. Big sad, guys, big sad. I really wanted to get that, uh, that axe. Sucks. Uh, let's kill this guy so there can't be any healing shenanigans. I'm still bummed, guys. I can't lie to you. What are we getting hit with? Blaze 3? Ugh. It's actually not good. Because it's very possible that the, uh, the boss can kill me? Alright, good. We're fine. Just, uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit dead inside that we didn't get any of the loot. Really botched that one. And I'm just gonna keep complaining about it, so. Alright. Like I said, the battle itself, not a big deal. The big, uh, the big... The big challenge for this one was obtaining all the loot there. Oh, did I not heal? Yeah, I don't think I healed Elder, right? Big boss time, people. That's all you got? I ain't worried. Block you. Let's go. Boom. One more hit should do him in. Counter. Come on now. Now it's time to focus on the boss. Nice level up there for Obrite. You love to see it. Let's start hammering away with some magic. Now bear my Arctic blast. I really wanted that heat axe, guys. I'm big sad. Big sad. Ooh, we learned Spark? Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. They're just throwing Spark out like it's fucking... Halloween candy or something. I just realized she doesn't say here I come for Blaze 3. No. Top? <laughs> Top? The fuck. I never quite realized how like silly that is. Anyway.
unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's going to take an extra turn, but you never know. Finally getting that better range with this new arrow, so that's good. That fully extended archer range. possible yeah if uh, Justin can get into attack range and we don't miss you never know I guess I should get another heal on the board can I heal symbios actually yeah probably the better idea right in case we miss with Justin or Justin gets outturned by the boss and Symbios, you know, doesn't fall victim to some random fucking crit attack or some bullshit. Alright, Justin for the win? Question mark? Take this. Yep. Boom. Didn't even need both of them. What did he drop? The Revenge Mace. I hope that's not cursed. Oof, he's all bloody. Very strong, Symbios Army. I understand why General Fafard ordered us to de use decoy tactics. Decoy, excuse me. You must be planning to enter the caverns, but the dra- Ooh, the shit, the dragon inside will make a quick meal of you. Ugh, Republican ideology will endure. The ruler can't own the land, or the people will suffer. Ugh. The Barisol General, in his own way, was thinking of the good of Espinia. His actions were motivated by his loyalty to the spirit of the Republic. One man's perspective on justice doesn't always reflect justice for all. Could his conclusions be true? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We have a long way to go. Oh shit, it's Ratchet! Hello, hey there! Nice, dude. But the question is, who the fuck is Ratchet gonna replace? Until he got close to Aspia, there were beasts all over the place, and then suddenly, there were none. I see you must have been dealing with them. You guys must be quite a rough bunch. This is a perfect opportunity for me to try out this machine. It breaks down sometimes, so I need someone strong to watch my back. So I think I'll just- oh, wait. Does that mean like he's gonna basically be cursed? Meaning like, occasionally he won't be able to move? Don't worry about me, with this armor I won't hold you back. Now let's forge onward. Well, I mean, I'm glad we got him, right? That's cool. Um, with that being said, I would like to return to, uh, town. Can't remember how to do that. Oh my god, are we not allowed to? Hold up. Oh, that was a detour. Okay, we're good, we're good. <sighs> I'm still bummed that I wasn't able to, uh, friggin' really do my, my shit there. Oh, that's right, I want to see real quick if, if I want Ratchet on my team. Not being able to get a single drop from that thief really bothers me. We also got the Revenge Mace, which I wanted to check out. Probably gonna be like a counter-attack or something. Who has the Revenge- oh yeah, Justin does. Yeah, counter plus 20, holy shit. Ooh, and it's a good mace. I hope it's not cursed. You guys think it's cursed? I'm gonna give it to Obright. It's not cursed, wow. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, we got 36.25, movement of 5, 10.4. 3625, movement of Hmm. I'll be honest with you. I kind of like our current uh, squad. 
my only concern is Horst, honestly. You know? He's got better movement, too. They're both the same level. He's also got more HP. I, I don't know, dude. I gotta think about this. And do some research. And do some research. I feel like he has potential to turn into a fucking beast. Uh, very similar to... What's his face? My boy from Shining Force 1, Guns. This might require a little bit of work, you know? I'll look into it. Horst would be the, uh... Alright, nobody died. Horst would be the person that potentially comes out of my party. Because, again, I feel like he's a mercenary, so... But, either way, looks like our next battle features a baby dragon. Should be, uh, be interesting. Alright, so I did a little bit of research, and I determined that Ratchet apparently kind of sucks, which is... I wasn't necessarily getting the idea that he was going to be garbage, but I had the feeling that he'd be a little bit tough to work on compared to my current party, so we're just going to roll with that party. And, um... I believe we're, we're ready to head out. Let me just... check everything real quick here. Yeah, I'd say we're good. Alright. So we need to head into that cave now. Well, what I believe to be a cave, right? Oh my god, I keep doing it, guys. I keep going the wrong way. Hey, 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 hey. Is it because I just want to hear the, uh... The sick soundtrack and storage once more? Possibly. To be fair, I was just playing Demon Souls for like two hours before this, so... My mind isn't, uh... In the Shining Force frame as of yet. And there lies the Thief Ruin that we failed miserably. Alright, let's check this shit out. This is such an eerie place. It looks like a crucible of hell in here, and the boiling magma makes awful sounds. People say this place resembles the bowels of hell, and seeing is believing. Hey, what's going on with you two? You're always optimistic and cheerful, it's not like you to say such things. It's just, this cavern is gross. Even so, I guess you're right, it's not like us. We've barely entered the cave. This is no time to be weak, Flagard is in grave danger. Let's hurry on, Lord Symbios. However, proceed cautiously. We don't want to wake the dragon. Well, guard is in danger as we speak. Time is precious. Even if you have to go alone, Lord Symbios, uh, head to the cavern's exit. Okay. So it looks like the objective of this battle is to get to the exit, which is right here. Um... Alright. And apparently there's some items in here. There's like a piece of mithril. I don't know where. Somewhere over here. Um. Are we going, like, out of bounds here? Yeah, kind of. Oh! Treasure chest. Cool. Alright, and then I guess somewhere else on the land here is something else that is hidden. So anyway, let's continue on. Oh my god. Sometimes the, uh, the 3D graphics, man, I'm telling you. So close, yet so far. Alright, where is the...
On the edge of land in front where the forest starts, close to the hellhounds. So it must be over here? I think. Apparently there's something hidden on the ground. I mean, I'm not seeing it right now, though. Is it over here? Hmm. Well, I got a better idea. How about I try to kill the hellhounds, maybe? Nope, I can't even get there. Um... Okay. Don't mind me just aimlessly clicking here, people. Just trying to find, uh... Trying to find the goods. Aha! There we go. Man, I was trying to attack from the actual edge there. Alright, let's get this shit started. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Kinda sucks that we weren't able to move just a little bit more. Obviously the game purposely uh, put them in that spot for a reason, clearly, but... A little bit disappointing. They seem to be really close, but... Not as close as they seemed. Alright, should be able to attack, right? Oh, that's right, we got the sick bow, so... Bam. See you in hell, hellhound. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. So I have to send Elder over there, which sucks. It's a bit of a detour that I wasn't expecting, but also I guess it is what it is kind of thing, right? Um, I think I will actually go here and maybe just spark you? Probably would be a two-shot now in this Hellhound, right? Yep. Almost, almost anybody, even Grace I think could kill. Should, uh, who should I give it to, though? I feel like I should start trying to, uh, spread the love a little bit. Elder's gonna go up on the next, uh, hit no matter what. Justin's pretty close as well. What about, uh, Symbios? Hmm. Yeah, I think I might have Symbios do it. go. Now we have like three or four people that are uh, super duper close to leveling up. I'm telling you, the life ring on Elder is uh, it's a good idea. I love Hayward, man. I'm trying to think of my favorite character so far. I've been kind of talking about it here and there. It might be Hayward. I like Masquerin a lot. Um, Symbios is a pretty cool main character as well. I like the look. But, uh, I mean, Donteris is a G. I think Elder, Donteris, and Hayward are probably my, uh, my favorite characters so far. There's really no characters that I hate. Almost every single one. Uh, seems to be somewhat redeemable for the most part, and the ones that aren't are really quirky, like Pen or whatever. So that, you know, gives it some charm, I guess. <clears throat> ah, that's whack. <sighs> that was pretty whack, not gonna lie.
So the goal is to get to the exit, but obviously I wouldn't mind killing, you know, most stuff, right? This should kill the Hellhound pretty easily, I would assume. Alright, so... Hmm. The other hidden item is either going to be here... Here, 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 somewhere around there. I guess I could just kind of aimlessly go clicking in a sense, but... Bloodborne appears, oh boy. Bad camera angles appear as well. I guess I should probably start sending Elder this way. Blech. Sybil's probably gonna get attacked. I would assume. Oh! Wow, look at that reach. <clears throat> I'm all about it, though. Ah. Really thought we were gonna get the kill there, actually. Bit of a bummer. Maybe we can get a counter. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All good, though. Justin should level up now, assuming we don't miss for the second time. There we go. I really can't wait to get away from there. Because <laughs> I want the camera the way it was, but I keep fucking getting that in. Oh, shoot. Bit of a interesting spawn. Oh, we have fucking parried. You son of a bitch. Well, that sucked. Spirits, help me. Uh, I guess we'll focus on... This guy. What else is new, right? Shining Force 3, they love just spawning enemies in the battlefield all the time. They used it somewhat sparingly in the first two. In this one, they really spam the shit out of it, to be honest with you. <clears throat> uh, she got hurt, right? Alright, so Elder is going to be going off on her own. Oh, okay, well, there we go again. I accidentally find the hidden item. <laughs> I was just trying to, uh, to rest, basically, but it's okay. Yeah, might have been a bad move on my part. Hmm, it's yet to be seen. God damn it, dude. Getting sick of all these misses. Honestly. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Oberite. Got that sick, uh... Sick mace from the last battle. We still haven't actually attacked a Hydra yet. Pretty crazy. Counter! Come on. No. Counter. No, 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 that acid breath. Yikes. Did that poison me? No. 
All right. Got to get some heals on the board, that's for sure. Another Bloodborne appears. Kind of annoying. Um, what do we got? What do we got? I'll just do a Blaze 2. That'll set up a, uh, some kind of tiny shot for the kill. I actually think I should probably start attacking over here. Hopefully Symbios does not miss. Good stuff. Also good stuff. You love to see it. Um, do we heal again? I think we do. I forgot about that random Bloodborne over there. <sighs> Please kill the Bloodborne. Please kill. Thank you. Cool. And can we get the kill here, Justin? Maybe, please? No. But somebody should go. Yeah, you know what? Even Grace potentially can get the kill, right? No. Wait a minute, hold up. Items, use... No, 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 no. Equipment. <sighs> For some reason, I thought she knew Tornado. But I guess I was wrong. Well, that kind of blows. Horse can't even attack either. Hydra might get a uh, cheap hit off on us. Yep. Ooh. I totally forgot to heal Obright. Uh, Obright and Donteris are not doing well. Let's get this kill. Please do not counter me. Thank you. Alright, we gotta heal them. ASAP. Guess I'll move down Terrace here. Uh, we'll do a heal two on Obright, and then Grace could do a heal two on Don Terrace. And then we're in decent shape to push forward on the Hydra. Um, I don't know how many more Bloodborns are going to spawn. Getting closer to the treasure chest, at least. Is that another Bloodborne? That one back there is probably never going to catch up with me, so. Not too concerned. Guess I'll just go here. It's kind of a shitty move. And let's do heal two on Don Terrace. There we go. I kind of want Elder to get that treasure before I really move TBH. And I think I'm going to do that. Mithril Dirk, oh shit. Whoa! A Wyvern appeared. That's no good. Wasn't expecting that, to say the least. Um, not gonna move too far ahead here, because I don't want to 
get somebody killed basically for nothing. You know? Okay. Horse is still there. You horse in front. Um, so this is a little sketchy, but also like, I'm feeling ballsy. Let's go in. I mean, if Noon dies, Noon dies. Pretty soon Noon's not gonna have any MP anyway. Would be nice to get a cheap level up. Oh, okay, what do we got? Something's going on. Okay, so we got uh, three wyverns on the battlefield now, and a baby dragon. So, my intuition is telling me that it might be in my best interest to try to just get out of here as quick, <laughs> as, quick as I can. To be honest with you, I think that's going to be the game plan. Obviously, we'll hit whatever's in our way. Uh, these things are starting to get a little intimidating out here, so we'll see. But we got, like, every uh, item. Ooh, icebreaker. Nice. So I am okay with, you know, with whatever happens, I guess. Uh, slightly concerned, though, about this dragon. So, I don't know. We'll see. Try to clear some space out in front of us. Sucks because uh, the Hydra and the Wyvern are actually really close to dying, but they're probably both going to get attacks off before me, which stinks. I would love some counters. Ooh, the Bloodborns are legit. Holy moly. Um, what do I do here? Can I attack the... Yes, I can. Can we kill, though? Probably not. Ooh, we did. Let's go. And we leveled up. A good level up as well. That was very helpful. I will say. Um... I guess I gotta just swing through the fucking crowd here. Yeah, the Bloodborne's hit hard, man. Now we'll see the power of the Wyvern. Oh, that might kill me. Oh, really? That's it? That was like an all bark, no bite type of, uh, type of deal there, huh? Um, can I... No, I don't think I can hit Don Terrace. Which fucking sucks. Anybody else need a heal? I mean... I guess I could just top Symbios off. You know, at this point... I'm trying to make an exit here. Pretty sure Symbios is gonna be the one that has to reach, obviously, if it's similar to like Shiny Force 1 with Max. And let's see what this. Baby Dragon's probably gonna kill Noon in one hit. No? Okay. Um. Now what? Now what? Now what? Can we. Kill the Hydra? The answer is yes. Another Bloodborne. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I don't know. I feel like we're so bunched up that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, like, get out without at least 
killing most things, you know what I mean? That's the baby dragon. Um, Noon's got one more freeze two in him. Again, if Noon dies, Noon dies. It is what it is. Noon has no MP anymore after this move, so... I could live with it. Uh, Maskerin, though. 13. So let me think. Yeah, I could do a, a big boy and a little boy. I'll do the little one. Alright, nice. A little disappointed that the MP didn't go out more. The HP seemed to... Nah, we don't want that shit. Okay. Let's go ahead and position next to there. Um, Irene, though. I have Irene just heal herself, I think. Is Dantera still injured? I think he is. If so, I can't remember if Grace is gone yet. I feel like she hasn't. Yes, Donteris is still injured. Um, I'm gonna be a little risky here. I didn't want to go near the Bloodborne. Or the Baby Dragon, to be honest with you. We should be able to kill the Wyvern. Also, I think I brought this up in previous uh, Shining Force playthroughs. How do you guys pronounce that? Is it... I've heard Wyvern? Wyvern? Um, like, I heard multiple pronunciations. And that also reminded me of the, uh, different types of dragons and shit, like, the worms. Which apparently, I think, also has different pronunciations. <laughs> I don't know. Does that mean I'm, I'm no longer a nerd if I don't know all that shit? I'm just a dude that plays video games. What is this? Alright. Fl fucking flame tail. Whatever. Um. Keep hitting the Bloodborne here. We wanted to heal Don Terrace. So the baby dragon didn't hit too bad, but I feel like whatever it hit me with isn't its main forte, so to speak. So I still have to be very mindful. Going against Horst, let's see what he's got here. Yeah, just slashing me. I feel like the dragon has to know some kind of fire attack, but obviously not pulling it out right now, so... I mean, I'll take it. This should kill the Bloodborne. A lot of fucking experience points. God damn, dude. Noon is spent. Maskerin, however, is not. What, do, what would hurt this more? Would it be Blaze 3 or Spark? You know what I'm saying? Because level 3 is a good spell, but it's also a fire spell. I feel like Spark would have probably done a few more. Ooh, another fucking Bloodborne? Goddamn. You know what? I'm just pushing forward. Symbiotes ate that Talk? shit. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! Frozen him. Oh my god, I <laughs> fucking just choked on my own spit. I got so excited. Frozen in place. Well, let's... Kill the Bloodborne. Sybil is probably going to get targeted by the Wyvern unless I somehow kill this Wyvern before, but I don't think that's going to happen. Could be wrong, though. Uh, part of me, like, wants to go back and kill that Bloodborne just because of how much experience it's giving out, but... Also, I sense the end of the battle coming soon. 
So I think it might be in my best interest to just start getting some random heals on the board for experience. Even if it's people like Obright who are not even really injured per se. think the wyvern yeah I was gonna say the wyvern's definitely gonna get a hit off but it gets maskerin Ooh, the counter though nice job baby dragon going after Don Terrace we still gonna get scratched here yeah not really intimidating can we kill nope I'm actually gonna not get the kill on Horst. What's noon at? 70? Um. Probably gonna do like one damage, but whatever. Maskerin is also all out. Uh, I guess we could try to do it with Don Terrace? Alright, cool. I think the only other enemy on the board besides the dragon is the Bloodborne. So we're just trying to get out of here at this point. Uh, anybody else need a heal? I guess I'll just heal Hayward. It should take Symbios one, two turns max to get out of the battlefield now, so... That's what I was instructed to do! Baby Dragons. Alright, Noon. Thank you for your service, though. You did a damn good job. Also, I've noticed that when people die, the friendship does decrease, apparently. It's actually a good mechanic. You know, to... Because realistically, you could probably just grind up your fucking friendships, right? So it's good to have a penalty, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We did it, Lord Sibios. We made it through the Mountain Passage. Now we can press on to Flagard. I hope we could friggin' stop in Flagard. Probably not, though. I wonder what's happening in Flagard, if it's being attacked by the Fafhard army. That certainly took a lot of time, but I remember the exit to the tunnels located between Aspia and Flagard. If I am correct, we might still make it to Flagard in time. Let's hurry, Lord Symbios. Alright, let's see what we got. Ah, looks like we're going into a battle right away. Uh, are we going to be able to go heal up or no? It's a bit sketchy. We made it through the passage, but the Fafhard army is moving on to Flagard. What? Are they... Is that the Symbios army? This is bad, General Fafhard. Symbios and his allies have just emerged from that cave. That looks like Flagard, obviously. What did you say? Fucking Fafhard. Well, well, Symbios and Donteris have broken through the Barisol forces and made it through the Volcanic Passage, huh? Everyone, postpone the Flagard invasion for now. We must first deal with the Symbios army. If the Barisol army couldn't stop you, I should take the pleasure of defeating you myself. Can I, like, retreat, though? Please? Please advise, sir. It would appear we are just in time to prevent General Fafard from destroying Flagard. We shall protect Lord Conrad with our lives. Flagard is our homeland. We won't let Fafard destroy it. We are stuck between two battalions. If we are attacked from both sides at once, we'll be at quite a disadvantage. Okay. 
Symbios, we must approach this battle carefully and not allow two battalions to join forces. Well, let me take a look at the battlefield here, alright? So... Yeah, these fucking wankers. Sniper elves, mercenaries. Okay. And then... That's where we're going. We got Fafhard here. There's a Luster Blade. Whatever the fuck that is. Also, he knows Freeze too. That's kind of bleh. We got two mages, some Hellhounds, mercenaries. Ooh, we got Wyverns even. <clears throat> God damn! Well. I ain't about, like, trying to do nothing right now, to be honest with you, so... Fingers crossed? And hope that we don't have to redo battles, similar to Shining Force 2 in certain uh, scenarios. Uh, I don't even think I need to stock up on anything. I think we just need to kind of revive and save, right? Was Noon the only person that died? I think so. Actually, I have a lot of money now. Was there anything that I wanted to buy back here? Or did I have everything that I wanted? I think I could buy a fairy bow for Justin. Now that I'm thinking about it. Also, I got a... Whatchamacall, right? Oh, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to go dump some stuff anyway. And I got a Mithril Dagger. Fucking slamming ass track, love this shit. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mithril Dirk, my bad. Crit plus 10, it's not bad. Sorry, fucking can't stop yawning. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know actually. <clears throat> Should I sell that? Or am I gonna get somebody that could use it? You know what I mean? That's the age-old question. I guess we could store it for now? I'd rather Symbios have the higher uh, flat-out attack. I've already played that whole, like, crit game shit. <clears throat> Wasn't a fan of it. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Alright, let's see here. We're gonna deposit this. We don't need to see our big fail Desert Thief map ever again. How's it that? Did I not sell that? I guess I didn't. How's it that? How's it that? Dark matter can be forged by a blacksmith. Nice. Uh, the Mithril Dirk. I'm gonna. S I don't know. Really torn on that one. I think I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna see how much I can get for it. Um, and then I guess I can always sell. Yeah, I got a couple things to sell actually. I could buy a fairy bow for Justin. All right, now to see if we can remember where the fucking shop was. I mean, it's probably the big place, right? Or is that the barracks? I also want to point out, guys, that a lot of times when you are watching these playthroughs, they're spread out over days. So, just to defend my idiocy a little bit, you know what I mean? Dude, I can't fucking remember which place it was. Um, was it the middle one? Wouldn't, it, wouldn't you think that the fucking, the shop would be the biggest one? Yeah, it was the middle one. Whatever. Alright, so we want to sell... This. Fine. And we want to see how much we can get for the, uh, Mithril Dirk. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. 
I'll probably end up regretting that. I bet you somebody, like, it probably transfers over in Scenario 2 or something and I just fucking sold it, but whatever. Um, what do we got for the deals here? All we got. Alright, let's buy the... Robin Arrow. And give that to... Ju Wait, Justin already has it? What? Does he really? Wow, I didn't even realize that. Fuck me, dude. I thought... I could have sworn I did not buy that for him. Well, what can you do? Eh, the loincloth. Well, anyway, we cleared up some item space and got a lot of gold, so... We're in, like, pretty good shape overall when it comes to, um... You know, the next set of... Weaponry, whenever that may be. Alright, cool. Well, let's save up and... Start thinking about strats for Battle 19 in the Espinia East Plains against General Fathard. I know we're getting towards the end of Chapter 4 here. I feel like we're kind of blowing through the game. Uh, I started playing this on Christmas Eve Eve, so December 23rd. It's currently January 4th. And that was with uh, definitely a few days where I didn't play at all. So I feel like I'm making pretty good progress. I'm happy with it. Alright, cool. Let's see how that, uh, that battle goes. Alright, let's go slap Faf hard right in his pusser. Alright, are we gonna remember the right way out? It's not that way. It's the other way. I think I'm learning, people. Finally learning. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to go through the cave. I hope we don't have to fight the cave battle again. I'll be hanging. Oh no, dude. It's a long load. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright. So we have the force over here. Uh, and the force over here. I think I'm gonna take care of these guys first. Obviously. Probably the best decision. Yeah, even though I've been able to play a little bit more lately, um, it's still been kind of like a herky-jerky schedule for me. It's like basically been like, oh, I could fit one or two battles in and then I gotta stop. I am uh, pretty much just greatly looking forward to Friday night at this point where I know that I could block off like two hours to play. Oh, a crit? Get out of here. Schedule's just been nuts lately. Uh, because of how nuts it's been, I actually think when I'm done with Shining Force 3, Probably gonna end up playing a few platformers just because they're a little bit quicker. Um, and then I'm gonna dive into my next RPG. I don't know if I'm going right into um, Scenario 2. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I've played a lot of Shining stuff in the last like three months. Not that I'm not thoroughly enjoying it and you know it's my favorite fucking game series in general but I think I'm in need for a little bit of a, a little bit of a change. I gotta decide, am I gonna go turn-based RPG or action RPG? Okay, can you guys fucking chill with this shit? Holy fuck. Enough already. Show them what's up, Noon. Should I do spark or freeze? Should I do spark. Spirits, help me. Noon's voice is <laughs> pretty silly, that's all I'm gonna say. Not, not a very good voice actor. I'll leave it at that. What does she even say there? I can't even hear her. Definitely not here I come, obviously. Ta? <laughs> Yo, I don't know if I'm ever gonna stop laughing at Ta? Oh shit, that's right. Donteras needs to get fucking healed.
we weren't already partners, I guess uh, Dantera's been dying a lot lately. Probably why. Um, well, I can't really risk anything here, so... I'll heal immediately. Oh, hey, nice. Another good level up post-promotion. Seems like uh, the post-promotion levels are consistently, for the most part, getting 2 to 3 HP, 2 attack, and 2 defense. Ooh, we got let off the hook there. Oh, we're not getting... You know, Elder might get killed. Well... Mm, yeah, Elder still might get killed. His Elder's probably going to get attacked by that Mercenary, and if I get critted along the way, we're in trouble. Ooh, yeah, we're in big trouble. We're in big trouble here. Um, let's try to... Distract. Thank goodness for the new range. Elder should be able to get healed now in plenty of time. Our next uh, focus should be the mage. Because we're all getting kind of bunched up over here, unfortunately. We're actually not in a great position to, yeah, actually, like, attack. Not in a great spot here. We're about to get hit with an onslaught. I need to get Elder out of there. Fuck, dude. Elder's gonna die. Miss! Oh boy. Come on, Elder. Alright, so we got Noon. Well, at least we're hitting two enemies. Now bear my Arctic blast. Is this going to be enough? Should I have gone in with uh, Spark or Blaze 3? I don't know. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. I thought the Wing Knight had more HP for some reason. Hmm. Somebody, anybody get a turn other than Elder before the Mage, please. Thank you. Because I gotta pull Elder back in a bad way. Hey, let's go, Don Terrace. So they're actually approaching me, which is interesting. I didn't think that was gonna be the case, but. Indeed it is. Alright, let's just do a heal one on Symbios. And then have Grace heal Don um, Elder. And we're gonna get attacked here, but it's no big deal. These two people should fall down, and then we're gonna turn our attention towards the right side. Resist spell, huh? What does that do exactly? Resist. Is it like good against magic? I don't really know. I don't really know. Oops. You would think it's just general defense, but the uh, the little icon leads me to believe that it's a magic defense spell. Let me see here. 
boom. Should kill this guy easily. I think I mentioned it before, but my big... I wouldn't say it's a regret, because, you know, I never played the game before. But... Um, I really gotta start playing up on subsequent playthroughs and scenario 2, 3, and whatnot. I gotta start playing up to the relationship thing. You know, with the, the added attack and defense. I'm just so used to trying to checkerboard myself because of mages, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, almost... Ah, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Out of my comfort zone, so to speak. To kind of bunch everybody together like that, you know? Ooh, a one-hit kill. Wasn't expecting that. I'll take it. Stun Bomb? I think that's what that was. I'm assuming that's an attack and not a... Not a spell. <laughs> Alright, let's flip this around. I feel like the, uh, the audio is messed up again. But I don't think it's my Ogata, I think it's the game. I think I have to get into a cutscene to reset the audio. That happened in another battle, too, with a lot of sprites on it. It's like a little slow and a little choppy. It's choppy! Alright, if anybody like wants to move forward, you know, feel free. I know the same could be said for me, but... Alright. Going in. Let's reset that audio glitch, shall we? Hopefully Sybil survives this. Sybil gets in trouble because she has good, like, movement and range, and then... You know... Got the mage. Man, I think Obright would have one hit it. That uh, weapon that I got is pretty sick. Could you imagine if we actually had the heat axe? I'm still bumming about that. This is gonna be like tornado or some shit. Yeah. Probably the wrong person to do tornado to, you know. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't realize that they were both in the, uh... The icon to hit multiple people with the spells, with the whole, like, swirly thing. It still takes me a little bit to get used to. I'm so used to, like, you know, the Genesis version and shit. It's a big difference. Um... So I cannot hit multiple people, which sucks. Guess I'll just do this. Now bear my Arctic blast. A nice level up there for the old nooner. Um anybody in range? Ah. Uh, that stinks. That's a good, uh, good HP level up. I like it. Uh, 
the very least, we're probably going to force the High Priest to heal itself or something. Potentially. Um, uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess that was the move. Let's see here. Um, I think actually. Oh, there you go. Increases magic defense. It's kind of what I thought. I think I'm gonna batter him with wind, and then I think I should be able to have a uh, <clears throat> an archer come up and kill him. Hopefully. I'm ready for a counter. You know what I'm saying? Not that. Come on. I guess Sybil could do it. Sure, why not? Get ready. Boom. 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 Very satisfying. You know what? Sybil's uh, defense and HP aren't great, but I'm telling you, I like Sybil. And all I was reading online was that Sybil's not that good. I don't know what to say. I don't know if I believe him. Bam. Oh, Hay Hayward though? Hayward and Donteris, the true G's. Um, so interesting spot to be in actually. Now hear me out. I oh, was just kidding. Wrong, wrong character. <laughs> uh, I was gonna do a tornado, but definitely the wrong character. I'm gonna go down Terrace first. Celestial. A little bit more important than Sybil, I think. Let's kill the Hydra. Bam. Ooh, forgot about that wyvern over there. We still have to heal Sybil and Obright. Oh, a one-hit fucking KO for Obright. Beautiful. Beautiful. I feel like the wyvern's probably just gonna, like, approach me from the rear. Uh, we'll see, though. Sybil. Okay. And then I think one more person needed to get healed, right? Well, I mean, Grace needs to get healed as well, but oh, right. It's like weird, this game gives uh, healing consumables like crazy. And while they're, I mean, they're very useful obviously, but I just always try to err on the side of let's let's get some actual heals on the board for experience, you know what I mean? That's kind of what ends up happening all the time. I think I'm gonna sit here and just see what happens. Okay, so I got the wyvern coming over. I'd like a counter. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, I can't attack. That sucks. That sucks. Shit, dude. That's probably gonna be a one-hit KO. Oh, one HP! Come on, now. Alright, they're kind of moving forward. i keep Noon over here, I guess. Um, I think I'm gonna try to keep Masker in a noon sort of like 
not in the front. Let's get the kill here, Don Terrace. Prepare to die. Oh, sucks that it was a tornado, but. Now we know Air Dance. It's pretty sick. Uh, Grace needs to get healed. Alright, I'm just kind of waiting, honestly, for them to come forward. Hopefully in a more bunched formation. Ooh, tempting to go in. Does Fafard no magic? Freeze too, huh? Hmm. Well, we're gonna pepper. Hopefully get Justin nearby as well. Um, who should I cast this on? Probably... Right here. Seems good. So this is basically boost, huh? Support. Did I just see Grace do it to herself, like, out of body? <laughs> Pretty sure that's what that was. Hmm. I don't think there's, like, any real chance of... I'll do it anyway. Fuck it. Take this. Oh, maybe. Ah, son of a bitch. Obright, what should we do here? I like, I hate to like bang into somebody with two HP with Obright, you know what I mean? Yeah, that seems like the better move. Wouldn't mind a counter, you know? No? Okay, fine. I just asked for it, that's all. So, Justin can't counter, right? Oh. Could have been worse, I suppose, but... Um, let me think. Yeah, let's do freeze one. Good experience there. Um, I guess I'll just do Blaze One should get this done. Here I come. Making moves here, people. We're making moves. Attack over here. Symbios. Yeah, why not? Famous last words. I get fucking countered. Oh, Icebreaker. Let's go. Boom. And the feet are frozen in place. Which is also good. Uh, let me think this through here. What should we do? I think I'm gonna go for the guaranteed kill. A bit of a waste, but... If the feet are frozen in place, I don't know if that means that they just can't move, like, on the board. Because if they can still attack, then obviously Symbios can get hit, which is not good, so. But one more guy, and then Fafard. Ooh, crossbreak. Boom. Boom. And dead. Let's go, Sybil. Now we're partners at Elder. Alright, Fafard, you fucking asshole. You big jerk. Ready for this shit? Ooh, going in with a physical attack. Questionable move. 
You could have like... If Fafar had went over here and cast fucking Freeze 2, you could have hit fucking five people. Kind of weird. But... It is what it is, I suppose. I'll take it. Alright, Obright. Smash his ass. Nice. Obright is turning into a stud. He's definitely hitting uh, Luke and Gort territory. Same with Horst, honestly. Hmm, I don't think Freeze would do that well against him, right? Because he already knows Freeze, so let's do this. Spirits, help me. Going in with Elder. Ooh, Power Slash. Nice. Uh, this might do it, actually. Well, he is a boss. Blaze 3 might kill him. Nope. Okay. I underestimated his bossedness, if you will. Oh, shit, I forgot Symbios knows Blaze, uh, Bolt, right? Or Spark? Yeah, let's go. I forgot about that. Rain Thunder! <laughs> Sorry. That was funny. Oh my. I'm letting this one play out for the dramatics. Ooh, I got the Luster Blade. Uh, yeah, we're definitely dropping something. Berry Powder, sure. Nice. What, what do you have to say for yourself here, Fafhard? Finish, finish me off, Symbios. General Fafhard, Lord Symbios would not kill a man for defending his starving people. I meant to kill Conrad, your father. Yet, you would spare my life? This is all due to a false rumor that Conrad and his allies are stealing the wealth of this land for their own use. Once these charges are disproved, or with loyal generals like you, faith in the Republic can be restored. Listening to your words, I believe what you say is true. When I was left in charge of Aspia, I learned of our budget problems. We are too poor to support the populace. A valid concern, Fafhard. One which you should address to Lord Conrad. Reserve judgment until after hearing his reply. I shall do so, Don Terris. I appreciate your considerate gesture. Yo, is he gonna get fucked up, though? Shining Force style, like, stricken down by lightning? I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! This shit happens all the time in Shining Force games, man. You try to spare people and they just get killed by somebody else. Too kind. You are too generous, Symbios. If you let a wounded enemy escape, he will return twice as strong, like a Saiyan. Thus, you invite your own demise. Who, who are you? Where are you? Damn you, how dare you speak of me so? Mm-hmm. Let me show you, Lord Symbios, how a wounded enemy should be finished off. Do you understand? You bastard! General Fafhard, your fial, High Priest of Bolzum. Oh, I was only doing you a favor by finishing the traitor off. Did I perhaps make the wrong assumption? Just when we brought some understanding between us and had a chance for peace. Oh dear, how sad. I seem to have intruded. Well, then I shall be on my way. Oh, have I not told you? I have an important appointment. I came all the way to Fulgar to meet your father, the noble Lord Conrad. I, I heard, Symbios. So Conrad is betraying the Republic after all, just as I suspected. No, that isn't true! You can't trust the words of that lying snake, Fial. I believe you, Symbios. 
Please. I'm dying. Promise me, protect the Republic. I beg of you. But you must learn if my suspicions are real. Please. If they are, in the name of the Republic, you must execute Conrad. It is the only way. Damn, dude. Lord Symbios, I trust Lord Conrad, so I'm sure there's no basis to... Of course, there's absolutely no way that... You're not obligated to... You don't have to listen to General Fafhard's dying ramblings. Lord Symbios, you intend to uphold your promise to the General? I understand your determination. We shall do the same. We'd be honored to escort you there. Alright. To my understanding, there's only one more battle left of this chapter. But let's uh, do some exploring here. I guess Flagard is... Uh, some items to find, but I guess it's empty? We'll probably find out right away, right? Door's locked. Oops. Oh, some of the things are open. But there doesn't appear to be anybody inside. Oh, nice potion. Ooh, I forgot about my new sword. Hold on a second. The Luster Blade. Let me see here. Oh my god. That is a huge fucking upgrade. Is that a cursed weapon, though? Hold on. What happens if I give this to, uh... Elder. Can sh uh, she even equip it? Can't equip. Well, that is a uh, very, 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 very big boost for Symbios. I was actually going to give it to Elder, because if I could have bumped Elder up into the 50s, I think that would have been a little bit more beneficial, but that's okay. Doesn't look like we're cursed, so that's also good. Um, can I give the Battle Blade to Elder? Can't equip. Okay. Alright, noted, 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 noted. Door's locked from the inside. Door's locked from the inside. We already tried there. This one's open. <clears throat> Looking quite ransacked here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, apparently this whole place is just going to be ransacked and locked, so... Probably a waste of time. We have a character, it looks like. Another large Mithril. Uh, is there a church? And where is the headquarters? Zoom out here. So there's the church. Where's HQ? There's HQ. Um, I get, let's try some of these weird houses real quick. See if we can go in. Locked from the inside. <clears throat> Looks like there's a lot of barrels. Ooh, a treasure chest. Large Mithril. 
Love it. Whoops. Okay. Um, I think that's the majority of the things here. We got the church, right? Which I'm gonna do dead last. Headquarters. I already checked that well. Um, did I miss something in here? Was I even in here? I think I was, right? Small mithril. All right, let's go talk to this dude, uh, and then probably headquarters to dump some items and then the church. If you want me to join you, you'll have to, uh, hold on. You'll have to force me? Push you around, boy. I'll just let you guys know right off the bat that I know that uh, this guy joins by... <laughs> you push him into your headquarters. I'm assuming this looks to be like the Xy Xylo or Gerholt of the game. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, Shining Force, uh, Gaiden, and CD, whatever you want to call them, didn't have, uh, like a wolf fighter. Closest one, I guess, was Gaian, right? If he wasn't a wolf, he was, like, some sort of weird beast thing. I'm assuming this guy's gonna be sick. The question's gonna be, uh, who do we take off the force for him? For Frank. Frank, uh, I love his name. It's just like so, like, generic and harsh. Frank, it's not Zylo or Gerhalt. Just Frank. Wow, this is uh, interesting, huh? The devs must have had a good laugh coming up with this one. You're pushy. I admire that. All right, you've convinced me. I'll join your force. The Wolf Baron. All right, let's pop into uh, to headquarters. <laughs> Guess Don Terrace is handling all this shit still. Uh, we will deposit any Mithril's, of course. I still haven't tried to use that ring yet. I have to try to do that in the next battle. Okay. Now let's see. What do we got here? 35, 24, 17, and 4. With a movement of 7. That's, that's big. Alright, who is gonna get... Oh god, this is tough. This is really tough. Is Sybil gonna be left behind? I don't know. Oh my god, this is hard. His movement is so good that I have to have him in the force. I might leave Justin behind, which... I know might be bad because of the range, but like I don't want to get rid of Noon. I don't want to get rid of Maskerin. Irene would potentially be somebody they get rid of, but I feel like her magic spells are too useful. Oh man, this is really hard. I think I'm gonna get rid of Justin. Yeah, it seems like the right move. And then let's give Justin's uh, stuff, I guess. Now let's take... Um... Yeah, I guess that seems like the best move. Let's give it to... 
Frank, and then I guess we'll just give the silver ring now to Frank. Alright, I don't think that there's a weapon store here or anything like that, so I think the next stop is going to be the church. And I gotta be a little bit mindful to level up Frank, because that movement and stuff is going to be sick. And then if I can get some more, like, uh, upgrade rings and stuff for Frank, I think, I think things will be very good. Alright, cool. We're making moves here. Apparently, like I said, we're at the end of chapter 4. Only a couple- ooh, what the fuck? Lots of people in here. Nobody died. Alright, let's just save. Uh, we'll talk to the church people. In a little bit here. And then uh, continue on. When the mass monks arrived in town, we told the citizens to run to safety. That was about all we could manage. Oop. Monks are supposed to show people the just and right way and guide lost souls to salvation. But these so-called monks are just murderers dressed like monks with masks to match. Ever since the masked monks entered Flagard Castle, the entrance has been locked. It won't budge. Damn. I saw it with my very own eyes. A masked monk and a beast went into Flagard Castle. The castle's unusually quiet now. It's even creepier not knowing where they are or what they're doing. <clears throat> Oops, didn't mean to talk to you. Man, I... Always play by the creek, and I can't go today. It's dangerous, but I want to play. That's weak. Grandpa couldn't run and got lost in the commotion. Have you seen him anywhere? I don't think so. Grandpa is tenacious, stubborn man. He's got to be alive somewhere. He can't die, not so easily. We're delighted to see you back in Flagard, Lord Symbios. Lord Conrad, who remains in the castle, is sure to regain his good health once he sees you again. During Fafhard's invasion of Flagard, out of nowhere, a group of monks wearing masks appeared in town. Some citizens ran home, others took refuge here to pray for safety. The fuck? Hurrah! Lord Symbios has returned. Since Uncle Don Terras is with you, everything will be alright. Those meanies went into the castle, so go find them and pound them into the ground. Well... Oh, wait. You can actually talk to these guys? We were... Uh, blah blah blah. We've returned, but the town is in terrible shape. It's the mass monks and beasts. These monks don't praise Ebelsum. It smells as if they worship darkness. It is an evil cult called the Bolsum Sect. We fought them many times before, but it didn't expect it would threaten Fulgard. What of the castle? Can you tell us what's going on in there? Apparently it's locked. I sent some soldiers to investigate, but the entrance is locked. There's no way to know what's going on inside. Should we attack the castle door? That might force them to open it and allow us to get in. That sounds like suicide, and suicide goes against the teachings of Ebelson. How about... Yes, I remember. Since the priest is an old friend of Lord Conrad, he may know something important. I remember something about the castle. I recall Lord Conrad mentioned something about a symbolic secret. Please try to remember, this is the biggest crisis Flagard has seen since the Republican Civil War. Please forgive me. So much time has passed since Lord Conrad and I had that talk. My memory is failing me. Just try to concentrate, relax, and it will come to you. Ah, now I remember. Lord Conrad put Republican emblems everywhere. He told me the emblem represented the Republic's goal of achieving equality and harmony. So something about an emblem. <clears throat> he said there was a particular emblem that held a secret. I asked him to explain, but all he would say was the castle was involved. I'm sorry if that's too vague, but that's all I remember. I'll pray for you. Alright, so the castle's locked and there's some kind of emblem or something somewhere. All I know. Where is the castle? Is the better question. Right here? These look like emblems. 
Was that it? <laughs> was that just a doorway or is that an emblem? Oh, this looks like a secret path to me, so. Well, that was easy. Now, I wonder if that would have been uh, triggerable before talking to the priest. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know the answer to that. <clears throat> Silence. As far as I could tell from a glance, it doesn't seem like the Bulls sect is here. Made a promise to General Fafhard. There's no better time than now to look into the rumors about Lord Conrad. We shall all wait here. Please, Lord Symbios, you should go talk to Lord Conrad alone. Oh, shit. Don't, don't come any closer. Uh oh, the mu music's getting sinister again. Go, go back, Symbios. Don't, don't come near, Symbios. It's, it's a trap. Oh, blast. It's been revealed. I had hoped you'd come closer. Oh, shit. Yes, I am Fiala Bolzum. It was unexpected that Conrad still had enough strength to talk. I think we're probably fighting Fiala at this point. I see, it's love, isn't it? Even as you're facing death, you still think of your child. Very touching. What did you say, Fiala, you bastard? What have you done to Lord Conrad? Conrad was always getting in our way, such, a pre uh, such as preventing us from sending spies into the Holy Land, so I came here to negotiate with him. But the negotiations failed, so I felt it was time for Conrad to retire. You're just in time for the party. If you intend to save his life, now's the time. Uh, I can't be saved. Go, it's a trap. <laughs> oh shit. How could you do something so unfeeling? Symbios is acting in your honor. Be thankful and accept it, Conrad. He's willing to risk his life for you. Isn't that right, Lord Symbios? Let's hurry and join Symbios and save Lord Conrad. Alright, looks like we're having a battle in the castle here. Oh shit. I like this theme too. Alright, so, um... Okay, it's one of these fights. Interesting. Interesting. So, I will say this. I was, uh, tipped off to something that, uh... I can get a character in another chapter if I attack Fial right away. And I'm actually confident in doing that. Mostly because these guys probably won't be able to get to me. And, uh, Symbios' attack power is super fucking high now. And his HP and defense is pretty good, too. So, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, let's take a look here, what we're working with. A bunch of monks. Do they know spells? No, they got scimitars. Okay. Pretty, uh, standard fight, actually. Let's just get the beefy boys. Hopefully up to the front. Try to zoom out here. Can I actually go up? I can go up top, nice. Okay, so they are going after me. Which I guess was kind of expected. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. We got rid of Justin. Ooh, that was close to getting attacked. I actually do have to be careful. I'm wondering... If... You disgust me. <laughs> I'm wondering if I could aggress after getting uh, whatever it is that uh, Pial drops. Because I will say Symbios isn't in good shape right now. I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, my wolf guy's there. Can I reach? Ah, I'm one square away from actually doing damage. 
That sucks. But she's not. I'll try to get this fight done. Um, organically. But I think that I'm probably going to end up having to uh, attack and aggress because I just feel like I'm going to end up probably dying, right? Let's see. Alright, so we got the key. Oh, my absent-mindedness. How could I drop that key? It's not important anyway. You could have it. Alright. <laughs> sure about that? Um, I guess I'm going to send Dontaris up. I mean, I don't really know. I just find it hard pressed the Symbios is going to survive going after that key, but it is what it is. Also a bit of a rough fight. You get bottlenecked really quick. And we are like blocked in right now as Symbios. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See if I can kill the Bloodborne with the boost here. Nah, got greedy. And I failed. Um, I think it might be worthwhile just to kind of start killing things. Get ready. Fucking hate when you get good attacks like that. When you don't need them. You know? So yeah, we're basically dead, although Symbios might be able to heal himself if he has like a good healing item and then just keep running away, basically. <laughs> That's really all I can afford to do at this point. Ooh, that's good. There's no way Sybil will do it, right? Yeah, it's okay. Hellhound. Alright, so now we got Frank over here. Ooh, Frank can get an easy kill. Let's check him out. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> uh, the voice acting that in this game, I'm telling you. Ooh, this isn't good. Yeah. Not too bad. Alright, Frank, let's see what you got, buddy. Eh, could have been worse, I guess. Okay, so now we got Grace. Let's might as well heal two on Maskrin. Why not, right? Yeah, this fight reminds me a lot of uh, Shade Abbey, right? <clears throat> Very similar. Bam! Man, that weapon that Obrey got. Again, I'm still gonna lament the fact that I don't have, uh, fucking... the Heat Axe for Horst or whoever would have it. Ooh, that was actually a... Uh, let me think. I can't see very well. Sometimes. What should we do here, actually? Probably do this, right? Yeah, that's good. Now bear my Arctic blast. We gotta get like Donteris up into the fold. Alright, so we got Symbios. Yeah, I can't like see getting out of this, cause like No matter where I go, I'm gonna get like attacked by like three people. <laughs> You know what I mean? If I go over here, these guys are going to attack me. If I just stay here, I can get attacked by three or four people as well. I don't know what to do. Um, actually, yeah, I don't really know what to do. I think I'm going to go here. I guess we just do this and hope for the best. You know?
Yeah, because we're still... <sighs> kind of bottlenecked here. Um... Expecting to get a double kill here, to be honest with you guys. Really wasn't. Maskerin is a fucking G, though. No, I'm good. Alright. What do we got, Dante? So here's my other concern, is me uh, bunching up here, you know, allows us to both get hit. I don't know. We're up Shit's Creek at this point. I didn't finish my thought, but like allows us both to get hit by uh, a bolt from fucking Fial, so I don't know. It's like whatever, I guess. Um, the real question is, what do we do here? Like, do we continue to hammer our way over there, or do we try to like work our way up, or does it even really matter? You know. Hmm. Is anybody like killable at the moment? Hmm. I'm actually gonna work my way up here. <clears throat> well, we're gonna see if Symbios is gonna survive or not. Otherwise, we just keep our fingers crossed that uh, we're able to keep the key. Again, the only reason I did what I did was I wanted to get that key. That's the only reason. Ooh, they're attacking on Terrace? What? Holy shit, they attack hard. Okay, well, I got bad news for Don Terrace. He might be fucking dead. Um... Huh. Yeah. About that. Hmm. Yeah, Don Terrace might die real easily here, actually, because... I don't think the bolt's gonna kill him, but if the other monk decides to attack... Okay, attacking Symbios. This is actually the best RNG we could have gotten. Uh, because, yeah, the two monks that are closest can't move right now. And the only person that hasn't moved yet is Fial. So as long as we can continue to push upward, we might be okay. Uh, this is gonna be bad for noon. Ooh, we countered though. Yo, look how much we got hurt on a counter. We probably would have been killed. I mean, we definitely would have been killed, actually. Well, we're trying here, people. We are trying. Alright, we're about to get double hit here. Keep your fingers crossed that Don Terrace could survive this. I I'm a little skeptical, though. Oh, Elder got hit too? Holy shit! I forgot about Bolt too. That's no good. Okay, so Frank's up here. Uh... Yeah, we need to start doing some work. Ooh. Oh, we got another counter. That's good. That's a kill. That is a kill that we will take. Okay, so Grace can't die. Grace is like heavily needed. We're getting a lot of counters right now. I will say for the overall like bad board position we put ourselves in to go get the key, we've gotten some pretty good RNG to kind of stay afloat. We might be able to get out of this. We really might. I'm skeptical. Like that sucks. Uh, really? So I can't, like, move up at all? This kind of blows, actually. Kind of blows. Uh, my goal was to kind of get Grace up, up top because we're, like, not doing well at the moment. <laughs> Since we charged the boss. 
you know? Um, I don't even know what to do here. I just did that because I knew it was going to be a kill. You know? Not particularly happy with the board position, I will say that. I just feel like uh, we're gonna have a lot of casualties up top pretty soon. You know? Oh man, really? Can we get a... A kill here somehow? <laughs> that sucks. Um, yeah. We're kind of fucked. We're kind of fucked here. Okay, though. We'll try. We will try our best. We just kind of got stuck down here, which is really unfortunate. If we were able to get, like, everybody up top, I'd feel a little bit more confident in where we are, but... Um... The question is, is, like, what do I do here? You know? Like... Do I try to get some kills? Is it worth it? This might have been the wrong move. I might have should have been better off like fucking just moving Symbios completely out of the way. I don't know. I also got rid of Ingress, so like we're going in at this point. I don't think I have enough each, uh, MP now. We're going in. Unfortunately, Irene and Grace are nowhere to be found. Are we sacrificing Don Terrace for the greater good? What are we doing here? You know. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Spreading out and just trying to stay alive, I guess? I guess that's the game plan. We'll take the kill. It's right in front of us. Of course, the completely unnecessary brutal shock. But it is what it is. Oh, Elder. Uh, yeah, I think the same goes for you, my friend. We're just trying to stay alive here. This is one of those fights where we're actually using all of our consumables. <laughs> Hopefully we get good gold from it so we can replenish a little bit. Okay, we're in official danger zone territory, people. We are in the danger zone. We might be killed. I expected that, that's fine. Um, so we kind of need to, like, fucking block this fucking douche. So I'm just gonna go right in front of him. We need to ensure that Symbios lives, you know? <clears throat> Basically, we just, like, kinda take our chances that... Um... That he, he targets somebody else, essentially. There we go. A useful tornado. This is a good fight for experience, I will say. Right, good thing we healed on Terrace. Counter? Hey, let's go. That is still a lot, dude. Please tell me. Alright, good. Defense went up by two. Attacking Elder. Interesting. Oh, and a poison. That's no good. Elder might, might be uh, kabonged. 
Ooh, Grace is getting hit again. Fuck, she countered last time too, didn't she? Oh, another counter? Is there any way she survives? I kind of need her. Uh, Elder's dead. Okay, well, Symbios survived though, which at the end of the day was kind of like the real goal. Um, Elder's starting to lag behind a little bit though. Ooh, Sybil got hit too? Shit. Forgot about that. Um, okay. So... We got 26. 20. And anything on you? 29. How much fucking MP does uh, y'all have? Probably a lot, right? <sighs> Alright, so Grace is alive, but like, barely. So honestly, Grace should probably heal herself. If we being real. That's what's gonna happen. And the next turn, Grace should be able to move up the, uh, the stairway. <clears throat> uh, I want to get Obright up there, but like we still have enemies down here, you know? Still have fucking enemies down here. Oh, that's good. That is good. Guess we'll take the kill on the Bloodborne. As long as Maskerin survives, we'll be alright. Oh no! Okay, I remember that doing a lot more damage than that, but still that's not like good news by any means. Um... Yeah, so Symbios is gonna have to fall back again. Use another... The last healing drop that we have. We're still not in a great spot, I'm just telling you right now. Like, we've survived and shit, but like, we're not... Anywhere near being like, out of the woods. Whatsoever. Yeah, we kinda really needed the kill there, to be honest with you. Um, alright, so... Now this is like another touchy situation. Um, really touchy, actually. Because we can kill one muck, but we can't kill two. Uh, and Masquerin, like needs to survive. And these dudes are going to get a attack turn before we will. <clears throat> huh. What to do? Can I reach? I cannot. Hmm. These are the things that make the game very interesting. Well, I can kill and really weaken one of those guys if I move here, but that all but seals Maskerin's death. Or I could... Like, run away and, and maybe heal? I don't know. Can I get away with this? I don't know. The monks could definitely move over and hit me. Ah, uh, this is tough. This one's tough. Although, you know what? I'm gonna go for the gold, because I mean, like, kind of at the end of the day here, we are running out of MP. I know I still have one of those, uh, things to replenish myself, but you never know. There might be a chance that we can get, like, Irene or something to kill that masked monk, and we could survive this. There's a, there's a chance. There's a chance. Alright, so we got Sybil here. Um, I guess we'll... Take this kill. I'm trying to clear off as much as the board as possible and then hopefully be able to heal up before we actually go in for reels on Fial. 
Ooh. Can we do this? What should I do? Do we think that Irene could... Irene could do this, right? Yes. Alright, good. I should have probably healed Mascarin, but I went for the, uh, the jugular. We'll see if it fucks us or not. Ooh, Hayward is gonna be in deep shit. Um... Actually, you know what? We're, at, we're not in that bad of shape right now. It depends who Fial ends up attacking, essentially. That's what it boils down to. We're really not in that bad of shape. I probably signed Frank's fucking death certificate doing this, but it is what it is. Oh, going after Hayward, okay. Hayward should survive? You Anywhere between two to five HP, please. Oh, nine. About that. Okay. Now, I think it's probably very important that we heal Maskerin. Because we can use that MP replenishing item if we choose to do so. Which we might. And let's move over right here to kill the Hydra. And now we can start moving everybody else up. We might get away with this. We very well might. What do we got here? Well now, Symbios, I have pressing engage. Huh? Was this... I'd love to stay and entertain you, but please accept these fine fellows in my steed. Damn you, you intend to escape? Where will you slink off to next? Dude... To visit yet another annoyance that I must be dealt with. Palsus and I need to talk. Pal Palsus? Really? After all that... That's gonna happen? That's kinda whack. Um... Eh, whatever. Who wants the experience? I gotta, like, find somebody that definitely can't kill him in one hit, you know? 48, 48. Can he actually kill him in one hit, you think? There's no way he's gonna do 21 damage. Famous last words. Okay. Good. Now I can give it to whoever I want. Don't counter. Ah, fuck. I just got Hayward killed. Sorry, buddy. It's friendship decreased, too. Alright. Anybody need this desperately at this point? Probably just Frank. So. Well, that's disappointing. I thought we were actually going to fight Fial. I should have known better. It seemed like it was a little too early for a big fight like that. Still didn't level up, by the way. <laughs> he killed two people and got in, like, two attacks, and he must be in the 90s. Lord Conrad. Please hold on, Lord Conrad. What about Bolzum? Palsus is in danger. <clears throat> On Terrace, go with Symbios to look over. I understand. We shall go there, my lord. But we must help you first. No. No, you can't. Evil is too strong. I can't be healed now. Find Palsus. No, this can't be. Oh shit, he's, he's, he's going. I can see it. He's fucking gyrating and shit. You can't go. Please stay with us. I'm begging you. Please, please hold on. 20 years. It went so very quickly. Finally, I could rest. Finally. Please don't say that. The Republic needs you. It's time for me to go. Ah, shit. Skip more dialogue. Yo, you gotta... I'm just letting you guys know if you haven't played yet, you gotta be careful. It's so easy to skip dialogue. 
This can't be happening. It just can't. Do we get you yet? Zero. I'm sorry, Lord Conrad is... Maskerin, Grace, Sir Donteris, what happened? We did what we could, but we weren't able to save him. I know, but... but this is... It's okay, I understand. You wanted to protect Lord Conrad, we all feel the loss. He looks like he's just sleeping. He fought long and hard every day. Now he can rest eternally. Please scold me one more time. I'm begging you, Lord Conrad. At such a critical time, I was not able to help you. I'm so sorry, Lord Conrad. Say it isn't so. It can't be true. Leaving us behind. I hate it. I hate it, Lord Conrad. So, like, did Fial kill him or something? Symbios and his allies returned to the Republic, where they were greeted by both citizens and high officials, happy to see that they were safe. However, not everyone welcomed them, and they received some cold stares. The financial crisis of the Republic caused internal turmoil in Barand. This severed the strong sense of unity among the Republican regions, and some lords resorted to radical activities. Like, grinding on skateboards. You know what I'm saying? General Favard, whom they rel reluctantly battled due to a misunderstanding, was defeated. Uh, well, he was, but then he got killed by fucking Fial. With Symbios losing his father, Conrad, he now stands alone with everything resting on his shoulders. Well, he's got like 68 attacks, so he's got some broad-ass shoulders. Chapter 4, Revolt in the Republican Republic of Aspenia. And...